proportionate to their size, your arms take more require more <laughs> ATP to use than your legs. So if you were to make your arms as big as your leg muscles, then you'd actually be way stronger at curls. Now a met. But like, if your biceps were as big as your quads, you'd be curling like no, 400 imagine. pounds. Yes, they are. Yet. <laughs> exactly. They're there. You just got to work to it. So what do you want to talk about on this episode? I don't know. We were talking for over like a minute. Do you want an before. intro? Do we should? Nah. Whatever. Yeah. I'll, we're edit, I'll edit an we intro in at the beginning. Um, I wasn't recording through all of that. Uh, so... Well, what do we say? Welcome to the GOWP podcast. I thought I was going to do it. It's the first episode of the new year. No, it's not. Yes, it is. We recorded one already. Depending on if I can get the other one out, we'll see which one's first. (laughs) Just to be safe, we'll say say it again. This is the first episode of the new year. (sighs) I guess it doesn't matter. Nah, I won't. (laughs) No, it doesn't matter either way. I'm, I'm Gabe. I'm joined by a usual host, Jose. And I'm your main host, Eduardo. And usual co-host who sometimes here and talks, Eduardo. And we got a guest, Tyler. Our guest who's been here the most. Yeah. We, no one what can do you hear you, Jose. Jose, how about you like angle the mic? mic is pic- oh, the mic's not plugged in. <laughs> oh, it yeah, is. it is. No, it is. <laughs> Don't I just, look at me. Yes, it Jose, is. Jose, talk in the mic so I can hear. Why is the mic angled towards your nose? Yeah, why is it angled like that <laughs> way? Jose's like, I want them. <laughs> no, I don't hear anything from you. TI? Yeah. yeah, I thought you were a calculator, the, bro. It's the 84 plus. Flip the switch. Flip the switch. Why oh, there we go. Zero. That's why, Jose. Some mean? IT guy you are turned your gain to zero. <laughs> He's like, they'll never know. I was like, there's no way the gain's just at zero. It's they know we use that plug. This is how you go back. To Who's sleep. they? Them. Uh, okay. I know we <laughs> you and it you and Jose. It's like the yeah, mode. I would never touch him. Touch what? Gain. The- I don't come out here and mess with this when no uh, one's here. I don't know. It's just him. Maybe it was Nova. Oh. He's like eh, 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 eh. facts. It could nah. be. It's probably Jose because when he plays D and D, he turns them all to zero. Yeah. Why? Do you? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's Jose. Wait, you play D and D out here? Yeah. yeah. Do both y'all? No, you go. No, he goes into his room. The so laptop. Why are you out here? His laptop is out here. Bring it in there. No. <laughs> then what's in your? You don't have anything in your room. If he does it, if he does that, he'd have to bring a mic too. Yeah. Mm. That's a lot of work. And you're too lazy to set it up. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait until you get your computer, Jose. But if you ever still have that man. plan. Is your credit card ever coming? Who? Your credit card. Remember you said you were going to like buy a PC with your credit card <laughs> that was going to come in? Option to. Oh, you did say that. I said I have the option to. You said you, you wanted to. Yeah. You said you were. You said you were going to do it. I didn't say were. Yeah, like, you were. I probably did say were. <laughs> I, I probably didn't mean like right at this moment. I mean, how long have you had your credit card now then? Ooh, which one? The second one. The second one? I don't know. So you've had it for a while. Six to eight months, maybe. <laughs> so did you get it last year or this year? If it was six to eight months, it'd be last year. Interesting. That's pretty easy math. <laughs> Anything more than one month is last year. Anything more than two weeks. Exactly. Three, three weeks. See? What? Stupid. Shut up. Anyways. No, no point was made, and nothing. You get no bitches, anyways. So I, mean, I heard you, you were t- watching Encanto. <laughs> yeah, good movie, good movie, good movie. Highly recommend. I'm hungry. I've never seen Encanto or Rococo. Me neither. Uh, really? It, between the two, we watch Encanto. Except for um, I don't know what the last picks. Maybe Inside Out. I think that might be the last Pixar movie I've seen. Wasn't that 2014? Oh, you know what I have been wanting to watch? Actually, a Pixar movie, Soul. Yeah, I, I heard, want to I watch heard that too. was I good. heard it's actually really good. It's I just about, haven't gotten around to watching it. Well, I don't have Disney Plus, so. I also never saw Toy Story 4. Oh my Neither god. Neither did I. I finished I don't it think up really good. Which one's that? The fourth one. It's the one with Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is in Toy Story? Yeah, yeah. who is he? He's actually. the biker. Why? He's, He's the biker. biker. Uh, I've been like wa- the Daredevil. Yeah, I've been biker. wondering, like, who he Daredevil's is. Daredevil's in Toy Story 4? No, 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 no. no. Evil Knievel type Daredevil. So there's no point of watching it then. Who's the villain? Disney owns Fix Murdoch. Okay, okay. The, the villain like in lawyer. Toy Story is like a misunderstood villain, if you can Toy say. Toy Story 4. Who's yeah. the villain? It's, the like, it's a doll. Okay, who's the villain? It's it's literally a doll. What I don't know doll? what her name. 
It, it's it's a doll that lives in an antique store that's missing a voice box, and she wants to like snatch it from Woody. Okay, yeah. I so she that. can't talk. No, she can. She just can't. It right? That makes no sense. I know. So I don't know why she can speak. So she does talk. She Unless can like, speak, but like a, her, her, oh, her toy doesn't. Like her do, her toy doesn't speak, but she speaks. Oh. That's weird because in like the first Toy Story movie, remember when Squeaker Boy's thing was broken? That's the second one, but yeah. yeah uh, one of the movies. He couldn't talk because <laughs> of like, it. Ah, yeah, yeah. He, like his voice so was she, Exactly. She That's what I was thinking. Because she's, miss, she's, she's missing a voice box. She's missing a voice box. Same thing with CW. They change management <laughs> and everything goes to shit. <laughs> True. Honestly, none of the Pixar movies have been the same since. They really Toys haven't. Wolf. I mean, Inside, Inside Out was out pretty good. Inside Out was pretty good. I enjoyed Inside Out. Hmm. I think it's kind of. The there were some points where I was like, mm, it was okay. It's all right. I don't remember it. It's honestly. an okay movie. I mean, I'd give it like a, look at the timeline. Like a seven. The timeline? Was, yeah. to, was Toy Story 3 the one with the purple bear? Yeah. Lots of, yeah. Okay, cool. I thought Toy Story 3 was good. Toy, Toy Story 3 was, was, really it was a it was a satisfying it's end. The, pro like, the thing is with Toy Story 4, it's it's like not really needed. Yeah. Like you can watch it. It's a money grab. Not really. It's not that much of money because it it still has its own like story. I shit. cried. I, it's not at the end of Toy Story three. Me too. Yeah, I Ice Age. I thought that was um illumination. Blue Star. Not Blue Star. Uh, Blue Skies. I thought that was illumination. I think it's illumination. No, it's Blue Skies. Are you Blue sure? Skies. Yeah, because it's the same studio that made a uh, uh Rio. Yo, mama. I've never seen Ice Age. Don't cry anymore. What? I've never seen Ice Age. Really? Really? Uh, I'm surprised. I oh, thought you, it was you're when, not missing much. When Good Dinosaur came out, that was the last movie. I didn't see Good Dinosaur. Well, that, that was, was the cutoff dinosaur. of when I stopped watching Pixar movies. I, haven't uh, I think I've seen part of it because my brother, back when like the the last essence of Blockbuster was around, <laughs> my mom took him to Blockbuster. Dude, really? You, you still like found a Blockbuster when Good Dinosaur mm -hmm. came out? Over kind of near uh, Denison. Oh yeah. shit, it's the green little guy. The dinosaur? The green dinosaur? The fucking green, yeah. You mean the good dinosaur? The green dinosaur. You mean the good dinosaur? No, the I good dinosaur, you mean? That's crazy. I actually skipped them. I did not was not interested in that movie at all. I wasn't a fan of it. I, I think after the good dinosaur, that's when Soul came out. And I was like, man, Pixar's... Plus. Soul is recent, dude. No, what you're about. Isn't that about the gay people? I thought no. it came out like during COVID time. I thought Soul came out in like 2019, 2020. So no, it was before that. No. Luca came out like oh, at the beginning no, of the Luca came out in 20 Luca's 20 2018? Yeah. No, that's 2020. 2018. Oh, no, no, no. We were Luca, still in high no, school. No, no, Luca came out uh, uh, this last year. Yeah, okay, 2020. I was about to say 2018. No like, way. Like, it just came out. No, I thought you meant Coco. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aren't was... they both like Mexican? No. Oh, no, I Luca's a town. I, I don't know. I, I never just, watched it. I haven't seen Luca either. Soul was two years ago. Ah, uh, yeah, October 11th. Then what 2020. came out? What came out after Good Dinosaur? Ah, the one with the elves with the magic and the D and D. What was that? Hoodwink. That's not the movie at all. Uh, onward, <laughs> onward, onward, onward. That's onward what it came was out called. 2020. Okay, I don't know what came after Good, Good Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Okay, Good Dinosaur is November 2015. Okay, inside out's May 2015. Yeah, so because I didn't see Cars three, I think Coco's 2017. So I guess I saw Finding Dory. But everything after that, and I guess Incredibles 2. I oh, saw. I saw Finding Dory. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't see Luca, I didn't see Soul, didn't see Onward, didn't see Toy Story 4, didn't see Coco, didn't see Cars 3. You yeah. missed out on Cars 3. I'm, I'm not going to see Lightyear <laughs> when it comes what? out. You're not going to watch Lightyear? No. What the fuck is Lightyear? It's a, the it's a, is I have no idea, buzz. actually. Is it a you movie? ever heard of Bow? It's a, yeah, it's a, it's short. a short. It's a short. Oh. Yeah. I was like... It's yeah, the one with the never. dumpling. I remember watching that. I remember, that was, uh, I think they played that for... Uh, Dang, that, that one from... The bird one came out in 2000. Yeah, I know. It's, it's the birds on the sky on the skyline. It doesn't narrow it down. It's, it, they There's a bunch it, of birds on a, on a, oh, on a yeah, telephone yeah, wire, one, and yeah, the yeah. bit was like... <laughs> 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 Is you serious, my brother? <laughs> like when I say it, it no, when I say it, it doesn't narrow it like, down. But when he like, says yeah, it, it yeah, narrows yeah. it down. Look, okay, we've already established that Gabe and I are in a similar way. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> when it comes to intelligent stuff, Gabe Man. and I are on a wavelength. And when it comes to working out, Jose and I are on the same wavelength. <laughs> I don't know about you. I don't know, I don't know if you're when on you the said it, it just sounded stupid. People. The birds and the I line. Said it he said the birds is like, oh yeah, you're right. They, no, but he, he was like the bird. I was like, I instantly <laughs> yes, got that. Yes, it was the, the, the shoulder. Because he doesn't just sit down. He's like, 
and he's like plops down and the wire's like oh it's like yeah. his whole body yeah, yeah. 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 Like and then all the birds all other birds it. were like what no the birds don't get jiggy with him the one bird gets jiggy with none of the birds get jiggy himself. no they don't yeah they do yes. no they don't. because i think he pops off and they all fly off and they're like i guess the, the couple that stayed were like i guess we'll be nice <laughs> <laughs> he's a menace so basically bullying works Exactly. I'm an advocate Look at for Naruto. bullying. Dude, I'm a high advocate for bullying. I, I there is be, not enough bullying. I used to be like, nowadays. man, fuck these bullies. And now I'm like, we need bullies in this society. See, I was cool Spider everyone Man. saw. Bully he got wire? bullied oh. and it made him a better person. True. Exactly. There's, I've never seen an example of bullying being wrong. Exactly. Perfect. Especially fat shaming. It works so good. <laughs> I don't know if it works. They don't uh, do anything. Uh, about got it. Jose to go to the gym. It's like a 50 50. <laughs> nah, it's not, not really. exactly. He wasn't why. bullied into going into the gym. Unless you, know, you bully yourself to go into the gym. I bullied myself into going to exactly. the gym. Exactly. But it bullied. <laughs> bullying works. I don't call self bullying bullying. It doesn't count. All right. No one but bullied Jose. I, I, do, I do think bullying works. Me too. It, to an extent. Now, like, do I think, like, shoving in lockers is like. That like, does like, not I don't happen. I don't like the movie. I'm saying, like, the movie bullying. No, but, like, I mean, it teaches you how to get out of a locker. True. Bro. So that, then, if you ever pin in a locker, you're like, hey, is that, is that even a thing? I know this little trick. Or if there's like Stuffing a killer coming to the high school, you hide in the locker, you know how to get out. Can you get out of a locker? If yeah. You, if it's, you finagle with the thing, you go like. Finagle. Yeah, if you go. You get in there, right? You know how to move <laughs> around. And there, you can get out. <laughs> then, yeah, you get out. <laughs> Y'all ever stopping. like sit in class and think about like, yo, what if a school shooter walked in? Always. Not, I would, I would not always, but I did think about like, it like, sometimes. He's gonna pull up, I'm gonna be like, pencil in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> throw it in the throat. <laughs> it's distraction. The guy next to me, he's gonna like read my mind. He's gonna know notebook in the air. He's gonna look up, like, you know, in dodgeball where you throw the ball up and like, oh, and you hit him like that. that so then it's later. like, they're looking up, like, oh, and I'm like, you never thought about that? Pressure points? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm no, like, I never. <laughs> I never thought about like how I'ma like defend myself if a school like school shooter decided to pull up. I, never, I thought I think about that hard. I was, I, like, I was like, they pull up right now. What else are you gonna like, think about? I, I, I think of like what's my route to like leave like, everyone every to die. Every time we had those lockdowns Bro. and stuff. Every oh yeah, true. Every had lockdowns. I was like, I wish you would pull up right now. I wish. I wish this was I wish. I've wish I been practicing wish. my pencil throw for this moment. I was like, he's not. I'd be like. He's like yeah, my my thought process was not like how I'm gonna combat the bully. It's how I'm gonna leave the building. My my thought was like, or more realistic. I'm not gonna like chuck a pencil at his throat. I sit there and wait at the door when he peeks no, his I'm arm through. I grab the gun. I'm, yeah, then, I'm obviously, <laughs> I'm obviously <laughs> his arm. Put it back on him. I'm like, yeah, that's right. That's right. Out my school. Right. <laughs> not no, this like is my okay. shooting. I was obviously exaggerating with the pencil, <laughs> oh, I'm but so like, sure. I would think about stuff like, okay, they close the door. Pull the thing down over the thing. They turn the lights off. Everyone's quiet. I'd sit by the door. And then, like, if he wanted to get in, because let's be honest, lockdown drills suck. They're retarded, right? <laughs> they want to get in. He's... Oh, my God. If he wants to get in this classroom, he will get in that classroom. A door's not going to stop him, right? But, like, if he shoots the window, puts his hand in, ah, right, you're done. I got your hand. True. It's over. But then he'll just okay? be like, okay. So let's say, What's he going to shoot? Let's say, he's, let's say he, he gets it in and opens the door, pulls in with the gun, you're done, okay? Let's say he actually gets all the way in, chokehold, you're done. Like, we you're we done. know what Tyler <laughs> Rinnick and choke is. True. Dude, my, Rin my Rinnick and choke is, is something to be... What if he just like, like... He still has the gun in his hand. What if he's like... Not at himself. Right, just disarm him easily. If you just go for the wrist, because, you know, the hand isn't meant to hold Wait, things right, well. Where's just your go hand No, we don't gotta you do got, this You got right a now. rifle. Okay. You got a rifle. It's not a, a pistol. It's uh, a rifle. Okay? Do they always go with pistols? Okay, so let's... Get out of chair, get out of chair. Man, all right, we're gonna have a live demonstration on audio. <laughs> on, on, I'll explain the moves. Okay. Give him the play right. play. Tyler's putting him in a chokehold right now. I wonder if have his tears falling out of his ears right now. <laughs> yes, that's right, I said ears. I think Eduardo's going out. Tyler's slumped. So <laughs> he's, like, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna go like this, and the barrel's gonna, what the fuck, come down and shoot, it's gonna get exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> Kind of Looney Tunes logic. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, all right, barrel, go flaccid, and then flaccid mode. Yeah. <laughs> then but boom. if it was flaccid and you shot a bullet through it, it would. No, the bullet's also shoot flaccid. Up. The bullet also <laughs> goes flaccid. <laughs> flaccid. And it, it goes flaccid until it exits the barrel, and then exactly. it's like exactly. hard mode. It's like Viagra. And then you're dead. <laughs> then what next? It's just a bullet. Oh, you're right. Think, <laughs> think your bullseye, Eduardo, just gonna hit him with everything? Eduardo's <laughs> like, <laughs> right there, right there. 
ricochet off the desk right here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> you don't know. Now the ricochet the is more like dead shot. Right, same shit. Who's bull bullseye? Bullseye's Daredevil's villain. Ooh, that's cool. Get it? Cause Daredevil, yeah, who doesn't Daredevil's miss. blind. <laughs> yes. But he is a good lawyer. He said bullseye, and then I started thinking of like Toy Story. Didn't you see the Ben Affleck movie? No. You saw season three of Daredevil though. I have not. Why'd you lie then? <laughs> you said you had. I, I thought I did. <laughs> did. You have to ask that question. Who I thought I did. To? And I went back on Netflix. So I was like, oh, I'll rewatch it. And I realized that I just was at the ends of season two, thinking I was watching That's season crazy. three this entire time. That's crazy. So watch season three then. I will. I will. It's probably yeah. the best season. In cinema? In Daredevil. In Marvel Daredevil. <laughs> Actually, speaking of... In Marvel, yeah. It's probably the best show. Speaking no, of... No, it is. Speaking of Marvel Cinema, apparently that... Not Marvel Cinema. It's just cinema in general. They're making a, a, a How I Met Your Mother spin-off? Really? Reboot? What would you Who call would it? Follow? it? It's, it's none of the above. It's What's, like an inspiration. Oh, it's Who inspiration. Because it's not the same characters. Oh, is it still it's like How I, how I Met, I met your, your Father? Uh, it's a whole different cast, though. It's just inspired by How I Met Your Mother. Uh, mm -hmm. Just like the storytelling regard? Or aspect? Yeah. No, Gabe's uh, watching that show for the first time. How much your father or mother? Mother. Don't lie to me. I'm not. I know it's not his first time. Alright, Lily or Robin? Me. Lily. Oh, yeah. Lily. Okay, yeah. I think anyone. Okay, knows. hang on. Me and Eduardo were talking about this last night. Who's who do you think your top five in How I Met Your Mother? I know it's probably been a while since you've seen it. But <sighs> if you're Lily is best girl just by far, down, in my course. opinion. Um, it doesn't have to be in order, just top five though. So top five. <laughs> we can get to our list later. Right. Lily. Okay. Which one's the one with the cupcakes? That, uh, Victoria? Victoria. 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 Yeah. yeah. That's uh, what I'm saying. But Victoria, no, you listen, kidding me? Right? Keep going. Keep going. And, keep going. And then, and then I'll, I'll tell you. My, I'll tell you my. Are you kidding That's what I'm saying. I'll tell you my All right, list. You just don't know keep about that going. Yet. One of the going. very few girls in the show who's actually thick. For true. A lot true, of the true, other girls true, are just true. skinny. And that's what you like. You like stick and bones. Not true. Yeah. Um... Ah, what's the the captain's wife or Zoe? Oh, Zoe. Zoe, yeah. Zoe's yeah, good. Yeah, one, Zoe. Yeah. Um, I guess Robin's up there. Okay, I guess. Just by default. I, it's I, I think it's been default. too long since you've seen the show. There's I think more. Probably, there's more I, I, women. Okay, there's I can't, better women. I can't think of any more. Of course you can't. Okay, well, me and Eduardo, you go then. Okay, there, he still has one left. He can't think. Of I can't think. Of, it's been too uh, long. Since okay, I so I said Lily. I said Stella instead of Victoria. Oh, Stella. Stella is the one that the left them on the altar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. what else? What else should she do? She's the blonde one, right? Yeah, she's the. <laughs> yeah, they're, I mean, they're almost all blonde. But like, yeah, she's that one. Yeah. No, nah, she's skinny. Anyways, she's not even like cute either. No, she's like she was yeah. okay. Yeah. She was like, I think she's I mean, like bottom. I mean, of I mean his, Victoria's better. That's what I objectively said. better. Like my top five, right? Quinn, right. Lily, which one was Ted's Quinn? Daughter, Quinn, is, Quinn was the stripper. The Barney stripper dated. that Barney dated. Oh, Katy Perry was in there. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Oh, we said she didn't count because she's a cameo. That's what we were saying. Because too. then Jennifer Lopez would count too, because she was also a cameo. So we don't count cameos. Yeah, I mean, we already went over this. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't lie with Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> if if that was Wait, hot is. take, hot take, hot take. Uh, we could anyways continue. I because I was Ted's about to daughter? say because I was saying daughter? what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So my list was what? Quinn, Lily, Ted's daughter, Victoria, and probably Zoe. Yeah. Man. We have similar tastes. Your list is just bad. Eduardo. No, it's not. Look at, look at Quinn. She was, she was bad. Actually, because I forgot. You, when you said Quinn, I was like, you're right. I forgot Barney oh, Davis and Maddie's. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Wait, which Nora? One? Dude, I would replace Stella with Nora. Just that Nora's accent. Nora's so skinny, it's that dude. Accent, you like, though. What is that with you it's and skinny girls accent. with no assets? It's the accent. It's the Australian accent. You like these skinny girls with no thighs, no butt, no rack. They got nothing Lily, to offer. Nah, bro, don't slander Lily like that. I'm not she talking got, about Lily. Not talking about Lily. We're talking about your other choices, Man. Stella and Nora. What? Especially Nora. She's really skinny. I know. She's got nothing. I know. But but her voice, bro. That was literally it. I just like her Australian accent. I'll okay, take IMDb. I'll take Marshall's mom over Nora mm, for sure. You're right. I forgot about Marshall's mom. You gonna show me the cast? She's okay, that's done. top cast. All cast. Right, Jose. Drew. Yeah. Jesus, there's 1,400 people. Marshall's mom oh goes hard. God. Who? Marshall's mom. Marshall's. Isn't she like six two? So yeah, she's big. <laughs> and she like six four maybe. Call me Levi. 
Oh yeah, I I don't I don't like who Ted ended up with, like the mom. I, I think what? he also does. I don't. You know why? Cause she's skinny, has no no meat on her bones. That's what he likes. Are you he kidding likes me? Malnourished dude? women. Are you kidding me? She looks like she's like she has the. Oh, <laughs> That's what I like, say. What are you about? <laughs> That's what I gotta say. <laughs> why are we here? Oh my god, dude, she has the body of a thirteen year old. I'm saying okay. she on her way. Let me look. Okay, <laughs> I was like, give me that malnourished thirteen year old. <laughs> he's like, he's like, yo, if she looks like she's younger than nah, twelve. Bro. Nah, bro. That's me. She literally in one of the episodes says she was 16 and they bought it. <laughs> oh, that's Quinn? What yeah. Okay, yeah. Nora. Whatever. Nora's kind of... In the face, she's okay. Yeah. She got no body, though. It's all, I, oh, I'm my God. All these ads are buddies. Okay, screw yeah? it. I'm going to make her. <laughs> it's a show. Exactly. I'm not talking about real women. You just a different trending. story. We're talking about fiction here. <laughs> when it gets to fiction, it's all right. Hey, okay. <laughs> when it gets to fiction, you're allowed to objectify. Oh Look at yeah, anime fans. that's Stella. No. Stella? Yeah. yeah I forgot that's what Stella looks Stella's like. Stella's mid. She's not good at all. She's like one of the worst. No, she's not. Of main girls who actually get like a time in the show, she's the worst. Who's worse than her? Stop playing with that, Aurora. Can you hear it? Yeah. No. Oh. I can hear. Why it. don't you tell me that earlier? Then I was messing for that for a while. Who's worse? Who's her. worst girl? Yeah. I got with Ted or in general? No, a mainstay girl who's not just like a one-off thing. Like uh, a girl who is a mainstay. A uh, main girl who is worse. Like visual-wise or like character-wise? Visual-wise. Barney's mom. You're lying. You liked Barney's mom. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. No, I don't. The fact that you have to go to a 70 year old woman just shows how bad Stella is. That's the only one you could think of. Nah. Because they're all on par with Stella. No, they're not. Yes, they're they all are. better. No, sir. <laughs> Stella's trash. All this Stella slander. Yeah, and we'll keep at it. Whatever. She's not good, Eduardo. And you know she's not good. She did my boy. Jose, get off your phone. How could you be on your phone, Jose? I'm doing research this at a moment like this. Too. On what? Gabe, she, does this pertain to the conversation? Yeah. What is yes, your, this pertains what you to the conversation. Phone, yeah. Reddit. Did you actually have Reddit out? <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> don't, look <laughs> don't, don't look at my phone. You know what I did get back into? Hmm. Card games. Porn. Oh. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. After I was playing, playing Duel Links and Pokemon. Yeah. After he was playing, in, we were playing Inscription. I started playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh again, and I like pulled up my deck, and I was like, "This deck is garbage." You're pretty garbage, yeah. The Makes deck, sense. yeah. No, you. No, you. No, you. Oh. Well, these are grown men here. <laughs> this is a 21 year old man just saying no, you to a 20 year old. <laughs> <laughs> to a what? <laughs> to a 20 year old. <laughs> I don't even remember him dating her. Who? Oh, Professor oh, Lewis. She didn't date him. They had sex. They did. Barney had sex with like a lot of women. No, this is Ted. Ted. Ted did not have sex That's with this professor. That's what I'm saying. I don't remember that. I know Barney did bag one of those professors who was like. Latina. Oh wait, this is a ranking. Okay, hold on. He has. Oh, they about to say. Ew, no. Victoria at four. What? Oh, I think I Robin at two. Long. Tracy at one. Okay, no, no shot. shot. No. We That's met why her for they're two talking seconds. Character as well. Okay, they because character be. Tracy's good. Yeah, she is. She's not attractive though. I'd be like, you're part of the group, join the boys, but like, I'm mm. not like getting in there. Well, that's how I feel about Robin. It's kind of like, Robin's part of the boy. Like, she's one of the boys. What's weird though is how does Tracy look like that, and then she made that daughter. True, <laughs> true. That Ted daughter doesn't jeans. even look like they're related. Ted jeans. <laughs> she did get carried by Ted, exactly. I guess. And then there's the guy from Wizard Waverly Place. I know, right? I <laughs> never see him as anything else. <laughs> The dad? Even though I no. guess I probably saw him. The dad, the son. In oh, this is the best five female characters. No. No. The other son. Quinn at Justin? ten. Yeah. No. Virginia at nine. The nerd. That's Ted's. Is that Ted's mom? Yeah. Why she, she number nine? <laughs> she a milf. She milf. Loki. <laughs> Not even. The show had a lot of milfs. If Not you even. And Barney got in there. Claudia. Allegedly. No, he didn't. No. 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 He didn't. No. There's no allegedly. He did. Remember the True Serum episode? No. Judy's at seven? Huh? Judy? Judy. That's uh, Marshall's oh, mom. Oh, Marshall's mom? Yes. Hi. Hi. Victoria at five? All right. People Zoe at four? Zoe's good. Lily at three? Lily's good. Robin at two? 
Rhymes and Tracy at one. All these lists are biased. No, they're not. They're it's because right. everyone likes Tracy's character. Because she's yeah. a good character. She's exactly. a good girl. She's there for everyone in the story. When, exactly. When they what a nice person. When they when they needed a hero, Tracy amiss, amid I something like that. It's really crazy that the because I'm watching from season one again, and it's crazy how the, the show just foreshadows and tells you things like in season one that she'll know way later. Mm -hmm. Like you know the mom's name in season one. Do you? Why yeah. do they say it? Because he's at the strip club and he's talking to this girl, <laughs> and she said her name, her name, her stripper name was like Stacy or something. They said, but my real name is Tracy. And then he goes, yeah, so, kids, that's how I met your mother. And they reacted, meaning that was their mother's name. Because they never reacted before when he says other names. When he said Robin, they didn't that's react because they knew it's not Robin. That's really crazy. I did not know that. I didn't realize that. Yeah. And also the purple yellow thing. Oh yeah, me and Gabe were talking about that. Well, not really. They didn't get in depth with about it, but we <laughs> spoke about it about like how much mother. There's this little like not color theory. It's not a theory either. It's like this is not colors or theories, but like, like symbolism. It's symbolism. That's the word. It's like all the happy things are are uh, yellow. associated with yellow, and all the bad things are associated with purple. No, it's not bad. It's like or the right it? choice is associated with yellow and the wrong choice is like purple. Oh, that's the way I heard about it. Basically. It was the good things and the bad things. I mean, it's being called by Ted, so maybe Ted hates purple. Dude, and He's then like, I remember, I remember I saw Stella wear purple but one time and I was like, fuck. It's bec Stella, because Stella's the wrong choice. She was. It's, uh, based, like, it's based around the premise that he, when he met his, his, uh, their mother, she was using the yellow umbrella. Yeah, the yellow umbrella. Yeah. That was also his first. That's my wallet. That was my wallet. I think we used to have the same wallet. I'm in the couch. Yeah, my uncle got it for me for Christmas. See? Mm -hmm. Pretty good wallet. The only thing I don't like about it is the color. I don't like green. It's green? It's green? Let me see. Yeah. I thought it was black. It's black. Like, it's OD it green. Black. No, black. It's OD green. That's the only thing I don't like about it because I don't like green. Uh, it's a ridge wallet. Uh, right? don't, not about your yeah. money? Oh, that's oh no, I don't like OD green. I don't know if Devin could hang out with you. You know Devin likes the Riddler. Yeah, <laughs> it's his favorite character. Yeah, yeah. like his Pete favorite fiction. DC villain. His favorite villain. I mean, in he might say tentacle. favorite fiction get tentacle, villain. Like best in fiction. I don't think Gabe he cares. might go that far now, especially after the Batman movie comes out. He might, he might start nutting. The, the Riddler. Oh, oh yeah, don't you don't they have a new? Uh, design they have the new for character him? design, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where he's like wearing. Where he has like the. Uh, he just looks like a guy. He's got yeah, like a sack over design. his head. Yeah, he's like a mask or something, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. No. I thought he had a mask. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His new design is like he's kind of wearing like a raincoat or something. Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't call a raincoat a new design. Riddler always wears like jackets. Yeah. No, but it, is the Barney he's wearing a suit? Doesn't he? You normally wear suits. No. I mean, suits. Really. Anything shirts. with the question mark on it is. Yeah, there's no question mark it's to not, be showing on this one at least. Or green. It's, it's like not like. That's not his suit. That's just yeah. what he's wearing in that scene. Let me see. It's just a. It's like a gas mask or something. Yeah, I saw. I was thinking of. It's the one I saw. Wait a minute, look, man. Yeah. That wouldn't be his suit. He's just wearing it for the scene. No. Where did the news article? <laughs> so I guess. I guess Tom yeah, Hardy. Read news article. <laughs> yeah, yeah from people who haven't seen article. the movies. I guess Tom Hardy's just wearing those traps for the scene. No, bro. What? <laughs> his traps? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's yeah like no, the because best traps in Hollywood. Because the Riddler I've seen from the trailers, he's showing his face. Hey, this well, like yeah, Mr. he Owl. shows his face. But, like, then that's like his outfit. I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure all he's those just notifications that for the scene. No okay. That's like saying that Heath Ledger's Joker's outfit was what he wore in the opening scene because he was wearing that mask and he didn't have makeup on. No, he just wore it for the scene. No, spoiler for Dark Knight when oh no one saw it, I guess. Oh my god. And I'm the spoiler guy. For the guy. opening scene the of a 20 year old movie god. almost. I'm the spoiler oh, guy. It's such a yeah. good movie, too. I Speaking of which, for all you Attack on Titan fans. What was that? What? You've never seen it? Yeah, I've never seen it. Dark Knight? Mm -mm. Yeah. You're missing out. He always quotes it. Remember? You saw the quote you, he always you says. You do always quote it. The, you do go. You were mere, you, you do go. You merely adopted the darkness. I was born in it, molded by it. And you're always like, no one cared who I was until I put the mask on. You do say that. Who says that? Bane. Uh, Tom the guy Hardy. wearing the mask. <laughs> the man. Thomathan Hardy. Hardell. <laughs> Hardell. <laughs> Hardelly. Yeah. Dude, I just realized your your case is tearing up. It's peeling.
Why is your case feeling? It's oh. old. Give me that old. It's not that old. How old newer phone. It's a newer phone. It's a 2021. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Echo. God, not as old. Well be a 2021. It can't be more than a year old. It's an S21 though, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's just bad quality. Case? Maybe you just yeah. got no bitches. An OtterBox? <laughs> yeah. OtterBox is pretty bad quality. No, it ain't. I paid two hundred dollars for this case. Just because you paid more doesn't mean it's better quality. <laughs> We've been over this. This means you paid more. We've been over this. Like Jose, like associates higher price with better quality. No. Sometimes you're right. Sometimes, not all the time. Though. Well, yeah, like that TV I paid like I think ninety bucks for it. Mm -hmm. It's good enough, but it could be better. Yeah. But like, it could definitely be better. I could have also paid six hundred dollars for that TV. Doesn't what mean it's high quality. It means it's expensive. Can I peel it? You ever no. heard of a ripoff? You ever heard of a, f a scam? <laughs> women? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you can buy prostitutes, doesn't make them better than women you get for free. True. If anything, they're worse. Objectively. Yes. You guess. You're taking prostitutes over like no. Margot Robbie? <laughs> no, Margot shot. Robbie. <laughs> no shot. No shot. Jose. You say didn't say it was Margot Robbie. I just said women. Mm -hmm. I didn't say like. You said no, prostitute women. always better no matter what. Definitively. Unbelievable, Jose. On oh, God? <laughs> <laughs> Come again? <laughs> On God? Which one? That's what I'm asking Cthulhu. you. Are we getting in that God debate again? <sighs> no, I don't want to get into. You that. got a religious expert here. Who? Jose? Me? Right. Eduardo? Me? Eduardo? Gabe? Uh, Gabe. Gabe. We have the Bible manga. You Me? do have the Bible manga. I That's do. right. Yeah. Manga. Yeah, yeah, he has the manga. Bible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ever seen the Bible verse? Bible you, you verse. Oh, the Bible verse. Jesus, Bible verse? Jesus <laughs> into the Bible verse. <laughs> what? what? Yeah. When it came in, I was like, "Oh, look at this! Oh, there's Noah's Ark! Whoa!" Hey, remember when Sodom crossed over with Gomorrah? Yeah. I was like, "What?" <laughs> Isn't that when um, Jesus splits the sea with the Beyblade in that book? Moses. Ah, yes. Moses. That's when Moses parted the Red Sea. <laughs> oh, you're thinking of Universe Seven Four Three? No, no, no. no, like I'm pretty sure in that manga is the one where he splits it with the Beyblade. No, no like, I think that's where the meme's from. It's not. It's no, it's not. not. Oh, the it's not? The meme's from actually. It's Beyblade. from the Beyblade opening. Oh, it's if from you Beyblade? actually watch yeah, the Beyblade, actually from Beyblade, he's, wait, he's to, what do you? It's fucking <laughs> canon. <laughs> That's dumb. No, it's not. No, because like you show the opening, it's like it the makes history sense of Beyblade in the burst. Not, it's not the opening. I, it's not the. Oh, it's, it's the beginning it's, season. It's the beginning of season, and like, it's like Beyblade has a long history, and it's Moses letting it rip. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Beyblade. <laughs> it's not stupid. The Red sea. <laughs> it's not stupid. Like the bay is like, whoosh, and it's like splitting the Red Sea. It makes sense in the canon. That's so dumb. It doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. How else would they have gotten these little tops? It was a meteorite. Just like in Bakugan. I never actually saw Just Bakugan. Just like in Black Panther. Never saw Black Panther. Uh, Bakugan's on the list. I'm gonna really watch it. You haven't my, seen like, Bakugan? No, I have. I'm oh. younger. But like, I have a bunch of like old, like, it's in my classic section. I have a bunch of old school cartoons. Did you say you haven't seen Bakugan or Black Panther? Black Panther. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I used to be into Bakugan. Dude, I remember thinking, I was like, I, I, pull it to, I pull it to Walgreens. Four bucks, give me a Bakugan. I'm like, oh, cool. do chores for like three weeks, get four bucks. I'm like, oh, I'm the guy. I'm the guy. <laughs> I remember one time for my birthday, my dad ordered one, and it was 15 bucks. And I was like, you ain't got to do that. You ain't got to do that, man. You're going to spoil the phone. You're like, you ain't got to do that, man. You ain't got to do that, my G. And it came with a free, because it was like, buy one, get one free. And I was like, Dude, I don't know why, like, <laughs> Beyblades are that kind of thing where I'm like, same with like Nerf guns. When I was younger, I was like, this is crazy. And then like a little period in high school, I'm like, Beyblades are for pussies. I'm not going to mess right. with Beyblades. And, I, and then like, now I'm like looking at Walmart and I'll be like, yo, that's a really cool Beyblade. It's not that Beyblades suck nowadays, though. They do. They do. Honestly, though, yeah. I miss the, the from ones from uh, Metal Fusion. Metal Burst? Yeah, Metal Fusion. Yeah. Burst? Metal Fusion. Metal Fusion? Yeah, I miss those Beyblades. Those the were just pure Beyblades. steel. Not the old school, but like the old ones. Older generation the of The first Beyblades. generation of Metal Beyblades. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just pure steel. Just... Nah, I was never into Beyblade. I was always a Bakugan. Dueler. Bakugan was dope. Dude, I the used to- Do you even know how to play- How do you play Bakugan? You go, uh, it's been so long since I've played, it, but you have yeah. cards. It's been so long. So you have like any other card game, and you just go- No, so basically you have your, uh, like your- I don't know, I'm just gonna say field cards. Cause yeah. like you have field cards and spell cards. Of course. And like, each Bakugan has a number on it, and that's its health. And then, associated with the Bakugan, you get a card for its attack. 
right? And you would roll the Bakugan onto the field card, and the field card would have a certain effect. No, no, no. The field card had the attack. If it's on this card, it does as much damage. As long as it's like the same element. So if it's like it's fire on a fire card, it does this attack for this damage, right? Something like that. And then the spell card, like, add 200 to your next attack or something like that. And then you also, I don't think you had type advantages. You think you just. Mm, I think you did. Yeah. Maybe it's like the court. It was like wind types, fire it was, types. It was, it was fire. Types. It was like fire, water. Wind. Earth. Wind, earth. Fire, and then back to fire. No, and then you no. have like light, dark, and something else. And those made like a triangle. It was like a whole thing. But like you would attack with the cards and the spell cards. Yeah. And then you would defend with the health on the Bakugan. And I think you could have like five wide. I don't know. Pretty sure, but you gotta like draw the cards. Mm -hmm. And I think you could draw either a field card or a spell. Because I know, like in the commercials, it was always like they had like these kids always had like the Bakugan. They'll just go zoom and like. Spin it never it. worked like that. You had to put it on. <laughs> and then if you want it to actually come out, you have to put it on and like take all the little things out. You know, what I'm talking about? like the horns, the feet. I never had that issue. Yeah. I mean, you might have had faulty Bakugans. Mine just like flipped out. No, because like if you wanted the feet out, and that sometimes with certain things they get to like <laughs> pull out a thing and. Oh, I don't know what you're. I've talking seen about. square. So like, Bakugans. so like you can, you have like the well yeah they have all different types of shapes. Um, but you would you would roll it on. Sometimes it would land. Sometimes it wouldn't because the magnet has to hitch just right. Yeah. Um, but like it would open and stuff. But it wasn't fully open because you had to actually manually go in and open like the horns and the feet. And sometimes the wings have like an extra wing you had to pull open. They didn't just spring open. Oh, true. I don't know. I mean, that. It was I awful. Know. Like if you Maybe wanted to I get, never played with Bakugans that big. Um, my Bakugans were like dude, simple. So I played. They just came I played. Out. I played heavy <laughs> Bakugan, bro. I was in actually. It. I remember. Like fifth grade, I was in the shit, bro. I was in it. I remember the only thing I remember is my friend had Bakugans, so I was just like putting them in between my fingers. I just went. Whoosh. It was like. Whoosh. Yeah, and I remember seeing, I think that's like one of the main characters. He has them in between his fingers. Yeah. Goes, I don't want to say Jaden because it's Yu Gi Oh. But yeah, I didn't come out. Oh, uh, yeah, Yu Gi. The guy that's built like Jaden. Yu Gi. Jaden. Yu Gi's from Yu Gi Oh. Nah. Drew. Yeah, Jaden is from <laughs> Yu Gi Oh too. It's Jaden. What's his Animations? name? Animations? No, you know what I'm talking about with the red shirt. No. Jaden. Yeah. Yu Yuki? Keith Bandit? Keith Bandit. <laughs> I remember this one from the the dub. He's from Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh. Yeah, he's from America. And he's like he has like an American. It, oh yeah, that's what I was and just about to ask. He was in Japan, and he's like, "This is mine." And he goes, "But it's property of Japan." And he goes, "Everything in the world is property of America." True. And I was like, "Let's go, Let's get it." I was like, I was like in third grade. I was like, "Representation." <laughs> every time America. I see every time I see American representation in anime, I just know it's gonna be low key racist, racist. <laughs> like Baki, so bad. You watching Death Note, and it was like 2012, like in the anime. And the president was like basically George Bush, and I was like, he was a puss, and I was like, ah, this sucks, man. Like we fold to Kira, dude. All the other countries in the world, you had to make America come out because all they said, oh yeah, all the countries in the world like conceded to Kira, and then you pull up with like America. The president's like press conference. We can see the Kira. It's like, why are you gonna do America like that? Like, you could have said all the countries in the world and then left it at that, but now you're like, hey, America, remember when you bombed us? <laughs> That's yeah. what it you was. You can see Akira. <laughs> They're petty. <laughs> They're petty. They're like, hey, this one? This one was 65 years in the making. Got him. Especially Code Geass, making us seem like we're the big villains. <laughs> True. <sighs> Just because they took one. What did we do in Code Geass? <laughs> no, They're the main villain. <laughs> Code Geass. <laughs> Just because oh. so we seem like the main villain. <laughs> because America just wants to take over everything. Of course. Just because they want to take over everything. As like, apparently that makes that you the villain. villain. That is one thing that I think is funny. Where like, people are like, America is like an empire. Which I can kind of see. Like, eh. But like, they're always talking about like America taking over lands and stuff like that. Let's be honest. If America wanted to take over something like Canada, do you think Canada would exist still? I, think so. I don't know. Like, I, don't know. I think America. I don't know what Canada's got on the other side. Mooses. Uh, they're pretty big. Um, yeah, have you I'm seen sure they have an army. Have you seen the size of the moose? Moose, an army of moose. What's a moose doing to a guy with a shotgun? Dude, a moose is pretty big. Moose are with a huge. Shotgun. Farmer with a shotgun. A I moose? think they'll eat it. Uh, you think a moose is standing up to a farmer with a shotgun? Uh, I've yeah. seen moose run on water. I have not seen a shotgun run on water. <laughs> farmer with a shotgun. He, okay. From okay. Dragon Ball. Farmer for a shotgun. Yes, Japanese. I know from where. You didn't have to say <laughs> He's from Japanese, where. Japanese, though. 
he is Japanese. He's so not what's he American. gonna be doing defending America? Wait, is he Japanese? Yeah. Yeah. Dragon Ball takes place in Japan. Basically. I thought it was like <laughs> no. Earth, but not Earth. <laughs> not I mean, Earth. it is. Like, there's not like, like America. There's not. Yeah, Japan. but like, I'm pretty sure there's like. Uh, because what is their currency like? Yo, or it's like their it's, currency is Japanese. It's uh, Gyo. Okay, it's like okay. a word Gyo? that's Japanese. It's like G Y O. No, I don't think that's. I think G-Y-O. actually, never mind. That's from uh, Storm. That's Rio. Is it Rio? Rio. Rio. I need to part, start playing uh, Hearthstone. Dude, I have it on my phone. I could not get into it. Fucking nerd. I also play Magic. Dude, too. shut up. I you okay. some Jose, oh, don't my. you play Dokkan Battle? What are you? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> You're gonna call niggas nerds like Dokkan Battle? What is Dokkan Battle? Don't you play Dragon City, bro? No. <laughs> That's rude. Oh, you play no. Dragon Veil, don't Dragon, you? Dragon, Dragon Veil. Veil. Completely different. What? What is that game you just said? Dokkan Go. Dokkan Battle. Yo. It's basically Hearthstone, but it's Dragon Ball. <laughs> It ain't. And the and the thing that's worse, because at least Hearthstone's an original <laughs> thing. Dokkan Battle is based on Dragon Ball, which has actually good games out there you could be playing. But people are like, no, I'll play Dokkan Battle for PNGs. Oh. Oh, it's a gotcha game? <laughs> Effectively, yes. You good, Isn't Hearthstone? <laughs> huh? Isn't Hearthstone sort of a... Mm-mm. It's not? Actually, I don't know. I never got past the tutorial, but I don't think so. Bro. <laughs> pretty sure it is a little bit. The, t- the tutorial was kind of long. The, cat- the tutorial has like, a, it's a pretty long tutorial, so I only got like halfway through. <laughs> I finished half the tutorial and I have yet to finish it. Don't you okay, gotta... I don't think you said games bad at going through half the tutorial. I didn't say it was. Don't you gotta you face... You said art song bad, I couldn't get into it. Yeah, I couldn't get into don't it. Just, just you said you get bad. into it doesn't make it bad. I didn't say, I don't no, if I, I say, say I can't bad. get into it, then I say it's I bad. I just said I just remember saying I couldn't get into it. Ugh. No, but I'm playing Hearthstone. I, I just want to play like a bunch of card games. Same. Like you have, I've just been into card games lately. Yeah, that's what. I've been into shows. Okay, how I met your mother. You caught me. It's not shows. <laughs> okay, <how I> <laughs> <your mother. laughs> I've been okay, caught. It's me. one <laughs> show. <laughs> okay. <Singular> <laughs> show. <laughs> So what? <laughs> Sue me. How many, what about when are you gonna start watching uh, Breaking Bad? Uh, like knows, even Netflix wanted you to watch Breaking oh, Bad watch twice. <laughs> well, Netflix yeah. wants everyone to watch Breaking Bad. Yeah, they do. So. Maybe in the summer. I should watch Breaking Bad. It's like eight seasons and they're it all hour really long episodes. It's, it's gonna, really long. That's man. a big commitment I have to make. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've been watching George Lopez and that's not much of a commitment. Yeah. I'd rather finish Punisher. I oh my god. Also, want to watch Peaky Blinders. What is that? That's a show. No yeah. way. I couldn't explain it anymore because I don't know anything about it. Uh-oh. I just see the poster. I'm like, Where'd looks you hear? cool. All right, I see it on Netflix. Okay, I'm like, looks cool. I'll watch it. I'm watching George Lopez. I'm pretty sure it's British because I don't know. For some reason, Peaky Blinders gives me British vibes. Peaky Blinders? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. Just Dude, I'm waiting British for vibes. Sex Ed to get another season. Okay, okay no. to finish the next season. Talk about mid tier, huh? Four season four. Mid ed. Mid ed. That's your name. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Have you seen it? I've seen the first season. Oh, you didn't like it? All right, but I feel like it was being like raunchy just to be raunchy. I mean, it wasn't like I mean, is it the, that's the main theme of it? It's, it's... Yeah, yeah, I get it, but it's just like. It's the same thing with like End of the Fucking World. Is that what's called? Yeah. Oh no, like, no, it's nothing like, and it's nothing like. That. I didn't that like that way either. Worse. That show's way like, worse. Yeah, no, I, but I, I get the same it. sense. It's like it's tr- it's doing something just to do it. I, uh uh-uh. uh. If I that makes I think sense. End of the Fucking World was like worse. Yeah, so. I think their vibes are completely different. No, I'm not saying it's like as in they're like similar shows. I'm saying yeah, I know. it's Sex Ed is raunchy to be raunchy in the same way that like End of the World is like trying to be cr- like, cringe just to be cringe. Like it's not like. Any substance behind it. That's how I thought about because like, it was sex. Sex right. is about sex. It's not raunchy to be raunchy. It's raunchy to get, prove a point. No, but like they would do stuff to. I don't know. It's just hard to explain. Like it's just my my thoughts on it. Like they would do. I don't know. Oh yeah, you said you were gonna watch Arcane. Have you gotten to that yet? I will eventually. Done. That's a no. I watched all of this Walking Dead. No one wants to watch Arcane. I didn't say, hey, yo, catch up on Walking Dead. I watched yes, Arcane. you did. No, yes, I you didn't. did. You said, if no, you I watch didn't. the latest season of Walking Dead, I'll watch Arcane. You, so I've been watch watching the, the Walking Dead. You watched Dead. the latest season. I'm almost done. Have you watched the latest I'm season? I'm almost done, Tyler. <laughs> what are you on right now? What season are you on? Nine. Okay. I'm almost there. What about 11? 11 ain't out yet. Is yes, it? it is. 
Dog, that's on like actual like TV. So, oh my god, actual that's TV. That's the latest season. I got of Netflix. That is. You we gotta, did not talk about this fine the series. <laughs> we did not you talk about this the series. We did not talk about. You gotta this. finish you the series. You said watch all of. Then Netflix. let me know when you finish ten. Then. He has God. to finish all of Walking Dead just for you to watch one season of a show. Well, know, to be fair, I was like already one season behind on The Walking Dead. No, you're clearly not. not. You're like three seasons behind. No, I was on eight. I was watching eight. It was eleven. Okay, so you're, you're right. I behind. forgot. Eleven. I'm thinking about like what's on Netflix right now. Okay, but it's still like eight, nine, ten. Because you didn't finish <laughs> eight. You were like beginning of eight, so it's eight, nine, ten. No, I wasn't. I was watching eight, and I was realizing that I had seen more than I remembered. Okay, so these eight is like eight is like where Daryl is getting like tortured. But, yeah, yeah, but you're saying shut up. Yo, some people haven't watched Walking Dead. That's your fault. No, but, 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 no but, I have, but like that's your fault. <laughs> I'm talking the listeners. Hey, I didn't spoil it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I count the idea. Yeah. When Eduardo started getting back into Walking Dead, that's when I realized I got farther than I thought I did. Because remember, I kept telling you I thought I stopped at season three. I guess I stopped around <laughs> seven to eight. So I got a lot farther than I thought I did. Yeah, you did. Cause you talked about the prison. And yeah. like the governor and the governor oh, season four so i knew you already got farther than you thought you did that's not a spoiler Jose. Not, you're not gonna watch walking dead let's be <laughs> honest and let's I, say you do you're not gonna saying, remember the governor you're not gonna be like oh, the governor you <laughs> the reason i know you won't remember that is because remember like a couple weeks ago eduardo we watched those batman videos about dark knight rises spoiled the biggest twist in the movie he didn't even remember it because we watched it he was like oh my god i didn't know that was the twist basically Exactly. I'm not gonna like, say I'm not gonna say the yeah, twist, but like, spoilers, Jose. remember when he it got stabbed and it was like, and then they were like, oh my God. twist. It's not. It's, it's the person who made the oh, crime. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that okay. twist was spoiled for you like a couple okay. weeks back, was and it? you already forgot yeah, about it. Was it was on College Humor. I See? Wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. Yes, you were. You commented about the video. Did I? Said, oh my god, spoilers. See, this is the point we're trying to make, Jose. You'll forget spoilers easily. No, you won't. Yes, you will. Not this one. What was the Especially, first one? Okay, what did we say? What was the name of them? What was what his name? Say? The governor. What was the first one? What's the governor? Like? What's his personality? I don't know what he looked. You didn't what, say that. Tell me his motivations in the show. <laughs> you didn't what say What season is he on? What season? Who does he kill? Four. Four well, and who does he kill? Five? Does I don't know. <laughs> you guys didn't say all. He didn't okay, okay, Negan. Okay. What location are they at? <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> no, no, no. What location? No. Doesn't sweet chain music anyone? <laughs> no, we're not in Canada, Jose. We're in America. No, Jose, what what location is Rick and the crew at when the governor is there? Dude, I haven't even seen the show. I he said, just it. said it. I he, said it. It's Tyler said being Tyler. He spoiled it. And didn't this, say it. But that was actually See, this. You don't remember. Okay, don't remember. <laughs> we can move on. The point is, information Jose doesn't overload. remember. Did someone get sweet cheat music? <laughs> what? No, no one got sweet cheat music except you. <laughs> right <By> now. <laughs> <laughs> I did used to do that to you a lot. What? And you'd get slumped. What? Think, that's think, how I put you to sleep. I think I'd remember that. No, that's the point of it. Not that's the, so that's the whole point of this forget. entire conversation we were having. That you don't remember. You tend to forget things, Jose. The whole point of it is I knock you out and you lose your memories for the five minutes before it happens. <laughs> like, you, you, you forgot we have D&D &D today. Unbelievable. Bro. That's like my whole... Are we still doing that? Did we, like, come to a consensus that we'll do that? No. I'm no, down. I don't think so. You're down. Devin's I'm down. down. It's You're not down? Too. Why not? It's gonna be too late. No, it won't. Yes, it will. It'll be Our like D&D sessions don't even last that long. They yes, last they, like they, last hours. they last like six no. hours sometimes. We can make it like a two-hour session. No, we can't. Yeah, we can. <laughs> no jokes. Baby, it's all yeah. serious. <laughs> yeah, if y'all actually just focus on the campaign, then yeah, it's just not gonna happen. I'll stop, I'll stop happen. dealing with the side bosses that we call doors. <laughs> and we'll start so for the, the for the podcast, they spent. They don't gotta know. They don't gotta know. How I mean, it's been a good like what though. hour and a half it trying to get Eduardo. through a door. No, no, no! Why don't you tell them what Jose did to the the warehouse doors for like? Two okay, hours. okay. So, so they were in a, a <laughs> building, <laughs> and there was four very large, like was very, you, very large buildings. I was like solid, the only one it was who solid concrete, was and they you? had massive metal doors. <laughs> and they tried the strongest person in the party, Devin. <laughs> uh, he tried. He had the highest strength stat. Rolled like an eighteen, and still couldn't force the doors open. Solid, sturdy. So Jose decides, okay, I'm gonna throw a spell at it. Does nothing, and he goes, all right, I'm gonna make a potion because uh, he's an alchemist in the campaign, and he makes a potion, and he throws it at the door, and it makes the door stronger because he didn't <laughs> realize what potion he made. He just threw, made a potion and threw it because it's like it's RNG, so you have one through a hundred, so there's, it's a uh, 
two numbers per potion. So there's 50 possibilities. And I think you made a armor class potion which boosts its armor class by like five. And you spent like an hour trying to get in, and then okay, as soon as you one. finally break the glass <laughs> to get you, into man. the door, uh, everyone wakes up and opens the door for you. So it, it, you spent an hour and a half doing it. It was a door, though. I mean, you also, I'm not an alchemist. No, because no, you I tried to do, because I remember specifically, you stopped time just to do a spell. <laughs> you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> so I said, I said, this spell will take an action. He said, all right, cool. I stopped time as a bonus action. <laughs> and then I used this spell as my action. And then I come back and I, I use the spell. I remember, I like, I, t I think the order book is toe on the door. Yeah, I rolled a True. critical one and I like, twisted my ankle. You broke your leg. Was it? You broke his whole leg, leg on the door. Yeah, you broke. You took like seven damage. Uh. <laughs> and then like you drank the stew, which made you feel better. True. <laughs> oh yeah, true. The it placebo was like, uh, effect. Placebo stew. It was the placebo stew because no, because it was a regular stew. But I see. I think Gabe, you, 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 like, you were Devin, to me. was like, oh yeah, this soup will make you feel better. And you rolled a nat twenty on persuasion. And then I said, all right, I want to make an intelligence check. And I think you made a nat one on intelligence. <laughs> so you're like, oh yeah, it makes sense. And you were so dumb, it actually healed you. Dude, I've done that a lot in the so campaign funny. where I just lied to you guys, but I rolled a natural 20 on the persuasion, so it just works. And we're just like, oh, this is stupid, but I love it. Your persuasion's not like, what, plus six? Like, it's zero. It's Duh, zero? No it's a plus way. zero. Now, 20 is effectively a yeah. success. That's even more impressive. Not even a persuasive guy. I just win all the time. <laughs> Just stay winning. It's always when I want to do stupid persuasion. If I'm like doing something relevant for the plot, like when I had to persuade the devil, it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he talks to him, was like, I'm gonna join you. He rolled like a two. And you're like, that's crazy. <laughs> it's like, you must sacrifice one's will to live. And you're like, no, he's had to kill someone. And he's yeah, like, he's like, yeah. But I'm like, all right, persuade him, persuade him to do something else. And then Dave's like, all right, five. Nah. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> That was a good battle, though, I think. That was. I think that was, like, our, that was like better our best battle. session. <laughs> that was probably yeah. our best session. Other than maybe, I the mean, not accounting one? for Eddie, the goblins, but... And to be fair, I put in that work. By like, putting fire <laughs> on these oh, how, about, how about the battle before, when you try to fire spell devils? And you realize that it didn't work, because they have fire immunity, and then you did it two more times. I thought fires and explosions were different. It's not even an explosion. It's okay. The spell said explodes. It explodes true. on impact. That is true. true. But then you look at the damage, and it was like whatever D6 fire damage. I didn't look at that part. That's an important part. I, I looked at whatever D6, and I was like, that's a lot of damage. Let's do it. Because it was like, what? It was like 66 or something like that's that. A lot of damage. And you're like, yeah, but it was <laughs> yeah. 66 fire damage. Passes in the past. But now you have Eldritch Blast, so you're you're doing good. And a wand. And a wand. That you forgot you Well, had. a staff. You have a staff. I have a staff. He has a staff. I can like, <laughs> boink. Can we like, <laughs> if someone gets too close to me, then I just whack him in the nose. But I actually <laughs> had to teach Jose a combo to do with his uh, new spells. You had to, you had to, but like, it requires him being that. next to someone. I gotta like, <laughs> uh, after, oh yeah, that was so requires funny. Him to, <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one's gonna see that, Tyler. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. You didn't even make a noise either. You just said it's gonna require, and then like, Three you seconds of silence. <laughs> Y'all saw it. I guess. I suppose. <laughs> but not, not the lads on the internet. Anyways. Uh, Dude, it's so fun. I still think like the peak D and D moments are. I think it was last campaign when we mind broke. I think it was like a dual effort of Jose and I where we mind broke that one guard. Do you remember that? No, it's when like I was a playing. It was a long time. Was, he said uh, last campaign. It was last campaign. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was like I was a session. It, I was a dwarf. It, I think. I no, you were elfling. you were a halfling. Halfling, a wizard. And Jose was. I was like. I started making. Oh, fun okay. Of yeah, I remember now. I remember now. So basically, what I'm happened trying to remember how to is there was it. a bar fight at the beginning in a tavern. As they're you know that's where you start D and D campaigns. It was our first campaign, and uh, what happened? Uh, they were beating I, like, up this girl, someone. and then like Jose ended and, up and Eduardo beat up some big guy. Yeah, Eduardo did, and Jose ended up curb stomping this guy. I and I said, Eduardo was it Eduardo? I did. Okay, so it was Eduardo. Was Eduardo ended would... up curb stomping him, and I said, "Are you sure?" And he's like, "Yeah," because other people were knocked out; they weren't dead. So I said, "All right," because he rolled like a, a twenty. I think it was like 19. a. I think it was a nat twenty. That's why it was gonna. No, nah, it wasn't not, but was it, it was not? like a dirty twenty, maybe. Maybe. And like someone a threw a 20. rock. A slutty twenty. In. Someone threw a rock in, and Eduardo opened the dude's mouth, put it on the rock, curb stomped him, broke all of his teeth, shattered his skull, and killed him. 
and <laughs> they'd be like, let's and go, then, oh, let's go. And then I made it later on in the campaign. They were fighting another guy in the like this dungeon, <laughs> and it was the dude's brother. And Jose, like, uh, I forget what spell you used, but it created like an illusion. It might have just like minor yeah. illusion, and it created like the dude's voice and face in front of the dude. And then it showed Eduardo curb stomping him, <laughs> and then it like mind broke the dude. <laughs> He was like, he's like, he's like, he starts like at the mouth. It was he hilarious. at the mouth and died because he's like, watch his brother die. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Like, Woo, baby! Woo. I'm waiting for this newer one. My favorite moment is where you just start becoming a religious man. That was the, that was in that. the best, dude. <laughs> that was hilarious. It was so funny to me because now you have praise the Lord above. Praise the Lord Jesus. <laughs> the Lord give the Lord for giving me chicken. another moment to live. <laughs> no. No one knows what happened. It's so funny. I don't remember like how it happened. It was just funny because you're always like, I would try and consult what well, my no, cause, teacher cause said. Well, no, because he said he tried to do his teacher, but he couldn't get anything because I made him do a history check. And then uh, <laughs> we were joking about him doing something religious. And then Jose's was like, fine, I get on my knees and I pray. And he rolled like a 19 or 18 on a religious check. So I was like, some deity spoke to you. And Jose's like, oh, my eyes have been opened. I, mean, I now see. Me. I was blind. He really tried to be like, nah, I ain't religious no more. Like after you had this moment. Yeah, that was a one time thing. No. A religious awakening. He had a religious awakening. To be fair, he kind of. <clears throat> But now think about it. Good you have two people on the boss to, battle on the boss we, battle with uh, the devil, the chain devil. Yeah, he did pretty good, helping you with knowledge. Nothing. He almost about summoned it. Cthulhu. He almost. Yeah, Jose. Jose almost <laughs> summoned Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> but now you actually have like a variety of spells that you can yeah. utilize, and a wand that makes it actually effective. Staff. Yeah, it's a staff. Staff infection. Staff infection sucks. Dude, speaking of, they're making them Among Us manga. I don't I told Why? To <laughs> Why? <laughs> I forgot to tell Eduardo and Tyler. They're making an Among Us manga. No way, yeah. Gabe. For real? This year. When's yeah. it coming out? Are you gonna read it? This year. That's it? It's this year? No, like, yeah, official no, date? Day? You gonna no read it? Probably it's not. In the, it's gonna be in the same magazine, I'm pretty sure. Shonen I read Joke? right as um, Attack on Titan was oh. in. Asatsu. <laughs> One piece is short and jump, Jose. What if, what if it Why'd you say short and jump, but just in a different way? <laughs> yeah. You said short and jump, and then you're like, oh, but the same one is One Piece? It's the same thing. Okay. I don't know if it's right next to One Piece. Maybe what if that's what it takes over One Piece? It's the next big manga. Yeah. It's the next JJK. Like one Piece is the next for a Demon while. Slayer. Yeah. It's going to be running Demon as Slayer. long as. It's the one next piece. big three. It's, it's going to be the next big three. Just next is the Among Us anime. Exactly. When Among Us gets boom, an enemy, that would be a boom, different era. I'll be like, boom, let's boom, go! Boom. I always knew Pink was a baddie! Bro. Pink's a I baddie? I think they're just going to look like the crewmates. I don't think they're going to make them look like white. No, I think they girls. will. It's anime. I guess we'll see, yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, ah. I'll be if like, they let's go! Like, 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 like red chat. Red chat. <laughs> oh, the green's going to be like, it's not like anything. I love it. I love it. I'm already what excited. It, what if it like story actually goes hard though? What if I'm it's like actually a really good. You know story? what? You, I changed my mind. I will read it. Well, because like blue's gotta be the nerd, green's the puss, red is like the sus? impromptu captain. Probably the imposter. Sus. Well, most likely, yeah. Okay, black can be the captain. Yeah. And then <laughs> pink and yellow are gonna and like maybe cyan would be like the baddies, like the waifus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna say yellow is gonna be intelligent too, up there with blue. But it turns out red and blue are sus. Oh, okay, there's two imposters. Because there's two imposters. Because we're having like an eight-person crew. Oh my so we're gonna have two God. imposters. It's gonna go hard. It's Imagine go if like hard. each game is one season. Have you seen the 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 fighting each game? game? It's so, a manga, Jose. Each among us. Manga game. doesn't go by seasons. Did you so see the fighting what game do you want about us? Jose? I assume the manga would go it's by like, game. It's like a side guy that does it. Yeah, it, it looks would, fluid, but, like but I don't know if it actually is. I've never season. actually played it. Like, yeah. It's a manga. There's no season. No, <laughs> that, that never <laughs> happened. No. The, it's like Red Specials throw it back for no. distraction. talking about the anime. <laughs> no. Yo, we should do an There's Among no Us d There's no anime announced for it, though. No, we're talking about the anime. No, what was that, Tyler? <laughs> we should do an Among Us D&D campaign. No. 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 How would that work? That'd be fun. No. no. How's that going to work? It's going to be like the quickest campaign ever. No. Because you'll never find out who the imposter is. I'll just be like, what, right, I want to kill him imposter? first. Is the imposter one of us? I'm assuming I'd be the DM. Yeah, but like, would the imposter be one of us? Uh, well, it depends on how many, but I'll just do like... It's probably going to be... Let's the, say it's like, just the three of y'all. I would do three NPCs. So I'd match the number of people with NPCs. 
Okay, so how would that work though? Because we'd all be in the same Discord call. Devin walks up by me. I kill Devin. <laughs> I kill Gabe. They know who the imposter is. I think it'd be better like. I no, he could just like whisper mafia. me or something. Or like private message me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Still. A phone call from my dad. But then wouldn't I be like, oh, I see Devin's around me. Yeah, like, like, sup, Devin. You want to just pause while he's on the phone? Yeah, can you pause the recording? Right. Whoa. Man, if uh, only I were big, think? man. We can, we can run Apples. I can just say, Eduardo, editor Eduardo, just remember we pause. <laughs> Wait, you're back already? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, okay, I guess he I'm also pausing. stole some of your chips. I don't care. Yeah. Oh, okay. No one likes Funyuns. I like Funyuns, I just don't Funyuns are delicious. So, yeah. how do you not Why'd like you open it upside down? Does, it you're whack. Because this was side. Does it matter? Yes, I'm, it does yeah. matter. No, it doesn't. I'm yes, getting it does. to the content. See, Eduardo, this is the issue with you. You you think everything in life is a joke. All right, really? <laughs> you're very mature, Eduardo. Is this the last bag? You, ate, you already ate a bag of fun. <laughs> That's your fault. Your I'm, hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Oh, this salt I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> There's a reason why I didn't grab it. Like, <laughs> <four stars. laughs> What's wrong with them? It's disgusting. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No. Right, here you go. No, I want a full. Bro. <laughs> Don't screw me over. I want a thick one too. I don't you didn't even open it right here. They opened it upside up. down. <laughs> it's no. There's no difference. As long as I get to the context. People like you. It's what's wrong with society. True. Yo, can you just like not chew like that in the mic? The flavors are melting on my tongue. <laughs> yeah, I like. I saw there was only salt and vinegar chips in there. I was like, no way. So I like had to tilt my head inside. And I saw the last so bag. No of shot. Food. No. Salt and vinegar. What? Hey, vin what? Vin what? I can't finish it like that. <laughs> salt and vin. Speaking of vinegar, did y'all see that Elmo's been confirmed to be a New Yorker? No, but yes. <laughs> Makes sense. What is it like? Uh, it's, like it's like it's like like onions, celery, on, onion, onions, celery. celery. It's like yeah, onion, balsamic celery, balsamic vinegar, balsamic vinegar. That's a big word for Elmo. <laughs> but they're always like they're always like talking, and it's like balsamic vinegar, and they throw like like the coat, with, like the New York Yankees hat with no brim, and they're like balsamic no vinegar. That's a big word for Elmo. <laughs> it is truly, truly balsamic. Who's your favorite? Top five New Yorkers in fiction. I don't know. Bro, what? <laughs> number one, Spider Man, right? My number two, probably Daredevil. Doctor Strange. Doctor number Strange. three, probably Matthew. I thought you were talking yes, about. Yes, Murdoch. I thought you were talking about ordinary dudes. Number, I said four, from fiction. number four, gotta be that chef from Domestic Girlfriend that was cool with Rui. Yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The one that was like. He's for sure. Yeah, there, yeah he's up there. What'd you know about I guess Batman. Batman's from New York. Gotham, uh, New Gotham York. is based on New York. Wow. So I'm just gonna say it is. I mean, Gotham would probably be Chicago and like Metropolis. Yeah, yeah. New York. or Detroit. <laughs> or Detroit. Yeah, <laughs> Metropolis is New York. Yeah. Central City's like Boston or something. Bro, stop chewing Central like City. that. Yeah, probably Boston. Like Boston, like neutral. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, kind of good, kind of bad. <laughs> on the coast. Not as bad as. Yeah, I could never imagine living in Gotham City. I told my dad, I, I said some like what if, because we'll go to breakfast sometimes when he's off. And like, I'll give, I'll give him like what ifs, like, or not what ifs, like, would you rather like this or this? And one of them was, uh, yeah, good what if. It was something or live in Gotham. And he's like, I'll take the other thing. Like, yeah. have both your legs cut off and like, <laughs> A knife like stabbed in your throat or live in Gotham. He's like, it's probably gonna happen in Gotham anyways. And I was like, yeah. true, <laughs> true. At least the Gotham rate is like two bucks a month. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's the only I, I love seeing those TikToks where it's like, like every time I wake up in Gotham, but at least the the rent's five bucks and a pack yeah. of gum a year. And it's like, <laughs> it's, like it's like you hear the Joker and Batman. And the Joker's like, I got me again, Batman. <laughs> and then, like you hear a, a like a, a explosion. He opens up. You see the Joker running away from his car. And he's like in flames. He's like, ah, oh, great. <laughs> Great, Joker's loose again. <laughs> Joker's on the loose. All right, everyone, don't get out the there house. Was, Joker's one, free again. One that I saw, there's one I saw. It's like uh, when you finally catch like the Joker on your street after like, escaping Arkham, and he's like <laughs> out the window. <laughs> he's like, I'm done with you. <laughs> yeah, have you ever seen the one? I'm surprised the civilians never tried to rise up on Joker. I think that's like the worst They've idea ever. They gotta have guns. Like, I feel like me. they should. How could the thugs get guns so easily? 
And like a bunch of like whole organizations full of guns. And then also when Batman beats him up on the street, he just like punches him, knocks him out, and then leaves. And leaves the guns. So like the there. guns right there. Exactly. It's not like Batman confiscates the guns. He's like, I don't like guns. <laughs> <laughs> he leaves them. Like, I mean, sometimes he breaks. I mean, let's, them, be, let's like, be real. If I, if I lived in Gotham, I would be strapped twenty four seven. I, would I, I wouldn't. I would not go anywhere without at least like I'd buy some like. Ex this is where expensive is more quality, Jose. Like yeah. like armor, like uh, Kevlar. Kev not Kevlar, but like a Velcro. chest plate. But you can put like underneath. It's, it's basically Kevlar, mm. and I'd have that front and back. Yeah. I have my strap and my second strap. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not get a going bit of Military training. I, 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 I'd have to. Like I'm yeah. doing the National Guard or something. Like maybe you know Marine Reserves. Like I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be trained. I'm gonna be trained. I'm gonna be trained for sure. I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pull up to Gotham and be like, hmm, what a great city. What a, Rent's what only five city. bucks. It's so cheap. No, there's a no reason it's five bucks. <laughs> I'm saying I don't, I don't think anyone moves. Apparently to in Detroit, to they pay you to live in their houses. Doug. Because like there's up. so few people there, they'll give you like government grants to live in their houses. They're like, please just live here, and everyone's like, Nah, I'm good. Can't have shit in Detroit. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I saw I this one. That was the thing. Can't have shit in Detroit. Well, because like yeah. this one guy, um, the guy was eating Cheetos. He was and a he got vlogger. On the he was a vlogger who lived in Detroit, and he had like a like a stairs that led up to his front door. His front door was like seven or eight feet off the ground, but it's like a stairs that goes up to like a little patio, and that was his, his door. <laughs> they took the stairs. <laughs> he had the vlog. Like he had like his little like GoPro on. Yeah. And he like you see him like put on his shoes and stuff. He's like, all right, I'll be back in a little bit. And he opens the door, takes a step, and falls out because <laughs> someone took his fucking stairs. <laughs> he's like, he's like, <laughs> why'd they take my stairs? Detroit is the Gotham. <laughs> Detroit is Gotham. Oh, so I saw this, uh, I saw this scenario. I wanted to ask this to Devin, but I haven't seen Devin in a long time. So I don't know when I'd ever get the chance to ask him. But it was like, how, um, if they paid you, would you live in a city where Batman and Spider-Man, like New York and Gotham fuse? So like their rogues gallery all in one city. But Batman and Spider-Man also exist in the same city too. Yeah. Yeah. You would? And he's like yeah. Joker running around and then like- But I mean, you're, are, are we combining like the size Rhino or is it like Bane. just the size? <laughs> Like of like, it's just the size of one city, or is like the, yeah, size, the size of both of cities York. combined? It's the size. Oh, of so New it's York. just New York plus Gotham yeah. people. Yes, yeah. yeah. small for like, like a bunch of I, mean, I can live in a suburb of New York. Yeah, I mean, I guess, but like New York is still their hunting ground. They're I'd not gonna be, leave you alone. I'd be terrified of a scarecrow, man. Well, I'm be scared of the Joker. Of I don't, I don't people, care about the Scarecrow. Of all people, you're gonna be scared of Scarecrow. I'm wearing that I'm gas scared. mask. I mean, I can, I can go with the meme where it's like, uh, I'd be scared of Jaywalk because meant to scare True. Batman's gonna see me. Well, at least I have Spider Man to back me up. I'm like Spider Man, please don't let Batman kill me. <laughs> I mean, he's not gonna kill me, but like, it's he's like, gonna kill me. Like, like I've never done anything like this before. Yeah, never, <laughs> call I'm, not, I'm, not I'm not Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I come out, not Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Continues to jaywalk. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, when, the it's like I'm just I'm jaywalking. I hear a dude land behind me. Hey, what you doing? I'm like, please be Spider-Man, please be Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Spider Spider oh, okay, I'm just gonna keep jaywalking. <laughs> hey, what's up, Spider-Man? But I gotta get places. Hey, what you doing? Getting places? What you mean? Some of us walk. chasing that bag, <laughs> and he's like. Hey, so you got a jaywalk to do that? And it's like, I mean, jaywalk some bitches. He's like, hey, <laughs> True. What are you going to do if you drop? I'm like, did, didn't I just see you lose your girl in that clock tower? I'm just Bro. saying. What was that about? I would have dropped her. I would have dropped her. I would have called her. I, mean, I would have been like, okay. web sling. Let's be catch. real, though. Let's I'm be just real, saying. though. I this is like, that, I like, this is like New York. They have no, sh no fucks to get. They just like openly say whatever so you know they say some yeah. boss like oh how about how's Gwen Stacy doing how's she do oh <laughs> dog I think I like, you you lacking like, like this if you did that I, I mean think they that wouldn't know that he dated Gwen Stacy though know. it was just a joke I think but he yeah. just jumped by Spider-Man if you did that Spider-Man wouldn't jump you he's a nice he guy yeah. I don't know I've seen some, unless it's not Peter I've if seen it's a some, different I've one I've seen some bully Maguires in the comic books bro just like bang, bang. So long as it's Pete, he won't jump you. But what if you unless he's wearing the black suit, maybe. Hey, hey what doing <laughs> though? You're jaywalking. You hear someone land behind you. Turn around, Spider Gwen. I'll be like, why are you here? <laughs> you like, what are you? You weren't a part here? of the deal. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get here? <laughs> right, what is Spider Verse? 
No, it's it the was whole just Spider Verse. <laughs> I mean, it's part of it, isn't it? Did we get the whole Bat Family too? Then, yeah, I would Bro, assume so. Right. Yeah, I, I would assume. So. I mean, this I would, is crowded. But like, out. we're combining Gotham and New York. I would assume that you would have. Uh, like, moving out. Yeah, not the Spider Verse though. But that's that Spider Man's part of the Spider Verse. City. Yeah, but I didn't say the Spider Verse. I said Spider Man's New York and Batman Gotham fuse. Well, isn't the Spider Verse a part of the Spider Man New York? That's like, in a sense, that'd be like saying I had to also take Owl Man then because he's from the the alternate universe where he's Batman in his Gotham. It's like it's weird if you're but just like Gotham universes. would Gotham would encompass that. No, you're just talking about base Gotham and base New York City. You're not talking about from every t multiverse ever. Not from like every multiverse, but like pick a Spider-Man comic. If you have someone cross over into that new york then so that's a that's a possibility like they can come to that new york no. so, so what then we get the fantastic four doctor strange we could season? we like, could i'm moving out i'm moving no out. i'm uh -uh. moving out too much because that means doctor doom is there uh -uh. <laughs> no shot uh -uh. too much there's a whole it's too much I, I would assume so, that means so new baron york mordo dormammu are chilling no new shot york too much new york isn't even that big they're not they're so, not, so they we're saying spider-man we're going his villains batman his villains and that's it that's it yeah so it wouldn't be gotham would just be like Batman Batman's and rogues galleries. Yeah, the Gotham. So the Gotham people, like Gotham the, villains, I guess. The villains and Batman and the mob moved to New York. Yeah, I'm still moving out, man. What? I feel like if you have Spider-Man and Batman, I would have faith because I feel yeah, like they I could do trust. some some legendary team ups. Yeah. They're both extremely I think, you know, big brain. I'll, I'll Will we still get York Justice League and Avengers two. or no? Nah, we just we so just, just straight. Them. Those are just the only two only in the, heroes in the hero in the, in world. the world. Yeah. I guess I talk to Pete, see if I can get that spider. Oh, okay, how about this? We, I, hey, you and I can do the the man behind the desk and <laughs> guy in the chair. The guy, the guy in the chair and the the web slinger. We'll say there are about. the heroes, but they're like separated throughout the city. Like, there's Detroit has their own, but like they're not gonna come to New York. Who would be in Detroit? Or Batman's in New York. <laughs> Doctor Batman's Strange. in New York. You think Doctor Strange would stay in Detroit? No, but <laughs> <laughs> I think he would stay in New York. I think he'd move to Boston. I think the only one who has the patience for Detroit is probably Batman. <laughs> and most likely because De Detroit's basically got them. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Superman the idea could do of, it. Like, the idea to me, like, he's Superman. That no one I, I don't think he'd have the like patience for, like, the people, though. I feel like Batman's uh, real different. Yeah, probably. Because he's used to Metropolis. Yeah. Metropolis is like, what is Metropolis? New York. Like? I would assume it's like New York. Like the good part of New York? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like upstate. <laughs> Yeah, not Hell's Kitchen. Mm -mm. <laughs> Upper East Side. Mm -hmm, for sure. East side. Yeah. North North 15th Street. Oh, yeah, because then that would also include Daredevil, which is doing everyone from... Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to live in a world with, with Bullseye, where literally everything he throws will always hit. No matter what? About that. No matter what? Like yeah. It always hits? You can't dodge it? I mean, if you're a superhero, <laughs> I guess you can, but like, if you're otherwise, no. You, what if you're chemically blinded as a kid? Dog. Nah. So I don't know how. I think Daredevil blocks it most of the time. He doesn't really dodge it. He's like, yeah, he like uses stuff to block it. <laughs> Bullseye is kind of like more lethal Deadshot because Deadshot's only with guns. Bullseye can literally throw anything and it'll pencil. always hit you. Like the pencil. Pencil. Yeah, pencil. Yeah, like the pencil, yeah. <laughs> what if I was just Bullseye? He could just walk in this room and be like, Hits you right in the head and probably kill you. <laughs> You're dead. Does he like throw it hard as well? I would assume. I mean, so. that's not a part of his power. No, he just he just trained. So he, I mean, he Eduardo, just had to kill you. Eduardo, if I picked up that remote and threw it at your face as hard as I could from this range, it probably did some damage. I mean, I'm not gonna die from it though. You could if I hit your nose. I'm gonna right? just start crying, but I'm if not I hit your die. nose right. How? Hit you right in like the carotid artery or something right there. Artery. <laughs> no, so so 40, 40 pounds of pressure on your temple shatters your skull and then if i hit you in your nose there's the septum right here yeah and basically if you look on the inside so imagine this is the front of a nose this is the back right it actually looks like this like there's uh -huh. cartilage Thank that's faced like this <laughs> it looks like and if you that. hit it hard enough in the right angle the cartilage could extend this way and picture your brain right. so basically for, for yeah, all those who I were listening you. and couldn't see our live demonstration he is saying that your nose can stab your brain basically <laughs> true Yes. I mean, I think, I think they gathered that from. Oh what no, I was you were saying. like, if you do like this, right? It looks like this. Okay, right. they won't see that part, but the fact that I said your nose, and then I said this looks like this, and it'll stab your brain. I, two and two together, I don't like, know. like 
Yeah, you're talking about the nose, but like maybe they'll be your like your toe oh. could stab your brain. You know? They'll be no. like maybe it's like some sharp booger. Like you stub your nose. toe, and then the bone goes into the next bone, and it chain reactions <laughs> exactly. like to your skull. And your skull just shatters. The chi just Never the chi spot also, just explodes. Because at least at least in Gotham, all the villains kind of have egos, so they don't like teaming up with each other. But Spider-Man's villains do. They team up with each other quite often. So True. I'd imagine they'd probably just join some of Batman's villains. Mm -hmm. Like since Penguin's a mob boss, I'm sure like another King mob King. boss from Spider-Man, like Hammerhead, would probably just join him. And it's just like you got a whole conglomerate. Yeah. <laughs> is Kingpin not? Is Kingpin not a? Mob he boss? is, but uh, he's not a mob boss. He's, he's a like the Kingpin. Like he okay, rules yeah. crime, but like mob, like you know, like the gangsters yeah. and stuff. That's like Hammerhead, Tombstone, mm, okay, okay, okay. And also Penguin, because so would uh, you get all the space would be similar to uh, Kingpin. Would you get all of the uh, like the side villains, like the smaller villains too? Like what? Well, like Down the King. <laughs> polka dot man <laughs> yeah i guess yeah. yeah i guess yeah like you get all and those too screwball yeah no. ah but you also have harley quinn Ooh. yeah but she doesn't like me she but likes which, joker but which harley quinn would it be what do you mean which harley quinn? Like, harley quinn like like which harley quinn like which version of harley quinn margot robbie margot is that mike she looks a bit like margot you mean like robbie. looks like the justin yeah, like, version or the yeah, the yeah, yeah probably like, the more modern version more modern version yeah so we could get a margot robbie you can get a margot robbie harley quinn that is Robbie's there too <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> yeah? So that means Black, Black Cat and Cat. Cat. Black Cat and Catwoman would be Bro. interesting. <laughs> They're basically the same. I might have to become a villain. <laughs> I mean, Black Cat's not a villain. Neither is Catwoman. And they like anti-heroes? Yeah. No, there's criminals. I wouldn't really call them anti-heroes. Uh, you, you, you wouldn't call criminals villains? No. <laughs> Batman <laughs> Batman's a criminal. So is yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah? <laughs> there is Spider -Man. He's, he's just a menace. Yeah, he's True. just a menace. He's a Spider -Man menace. menace. So like if you lived like without your knowledge of Spider-Man, yeah, and you saw like I would assume I don't. Well, like like okay, like you live in New York though, and you see like all the stuff about Spider-Man. What logical conclusion would you draw? He's a hero. He's, he's a, a menace. Hero. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think most people would conclude he's a hero. Okay. Yeah, I would assume so too. I'm just saying like. But I do think it's not completely unrealistic. They think there's people who don't like Spider-Man. Same with Batman because they do cause damage, and there is the thought of. They parade around, get a bunch of attention. There's twisted minds who would think the same thing mm. and do it in an evil way. Because that makes sense. That's kind of like what happens in real life when Zodiac killers get cool names. Or like the boys. Or not Zodiac killers. Syriac, serial, serial killers, killers I don't get like, cool names. Well, like the boys would be a good example where it's like you, you get superpowers, you get up there, you get corrupt. Yeah. And you're doing exactly. it for the attention. Exactly. Same thing. Yeah. I mean, like, I was thinking like... I was just thinking about that. I wouldn't say he's completely blameless, but I wouldn't hate him. I just don't like the argument that, like, uh, especially because I've seen this one from Superman, and they were getting on a Superman, like, if he's really that super, he could beat villains without destroying the city. And it's he like, could. he, yeah, but at the same time, there's certain villains, like, shit happens, like, yeah, you just like gotta Doomsday? do what you gotta do. Like, <laughs> yeah. Doomsday pulls up, like, he, the fight hasn't even started yet, he lands, breaks, like, shatters the ground, like... <laughs> Doomsday Superman is supposed to like expect this to happen. Well, it's because like, like realistically, Superman with his all if you do composite Superman in general, he could just chuck Doomsday in the space and then fight him in the space. Mm. But he chooses not to. He chooses to fight him in Metropolis. I think main main people's issues with Superman is that if he wanted to, he could just throw him all in space and fight him there. Like, yeah, I, I get that argument, but at the same time, it's like sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Like, but I think Zod's on different because Zod can fly too. Zod would just go back to Metropolis and yeah. be like, no, we're which not fighting in space. Which one is Zod? Zod's it's basically uncle. Superman, but like anti. He's he's the general of Krypton. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Isn't he also his uncle? Yeah, I said that first when he asked. I said oh, his okay. uncle. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I thought Zod was just like another villain. I mean, he, well, is. Him, he, he is. is. He is. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, uh, who was the guy who's looking for like the perfect equation? Um, Gyro. Oh, Side. that's what you meant by oh, the, is that. Oh, isn't that like the life equation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anti life yeah. equation. The golden equation. I don't know what it was. The golden called. ratio. The golden <laughs> ratio. <laughs> the golden ratio. <laughs> that's why I said gyro. That's what I thought he meant. No, yeah. I said gyro because he was like the equation. I'm like, no, yeah, yeah the life equation is the what life it's equation. Called. Is the anti life equation. Oh. Is it the anti life equation? Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's dark side. He's not a bad, No, but I just I just don't like the argument where it's like if you're so he's good if you're so good <laughs> I just don't like the argument is like if you're so good then do it without damage like Or you could just destroy the city and the world. I mean take your pick. Like you could just not yeah. do this and the world would end. Pick For the and choose. Most part, yeah. Like and I, I also think it's like money wise, like for common people, you you would have superhero insurance and supervillain insurance. So it's yeah. like You'd be fine. Like I would assume, I would assume full coverage. 
But like, if your car gets destroyed, like Superman, like the meme. Yeah, the meme. Car. <laughs> I'm so like, no, I misses. just bought the like, car. I, bought this. I would assume you'd have full coverage on that. So you would yeah. get you get full money back for that, so you could buy another car. That'd be a crazy. Economy. But like, just let the man be. Like, I don't see you out there fighting, you know, Doomsday. Like, just, yeah. just let, let Superman do his thing. Let me throw it. We'll handle Doomsday. it. Granted. <laughs> Doomsday doesn't exist if Superman doesn't exist. And that comes back to the point where these are all their problems to begin with. But then again, he does exist, so you yeah, can't change but that. but because he exists. So that's why they're blaming him. Doomsday would never come here if Superman didn't exist. That's where the blame comes from. Yeah, I get that, but at the same time, what about all the other villains that come there? Metallo, Superman. Zod, Superman. They're all, Superman's villains mainly are because of him. Lex Wouldn't that be most things, though? Like Batman 2? No, no, because when Batman came, the, the League of Shadows were always a thing. Well, yeah. Those assassins were always a thing, like Deadshot, Firefly. Those assassins, Professor Pig, Serial Killer, all those guys existed. Joker and Bane are examples of people that Batman created, <laughs> but not all of them. And Scarecrow, I'd say maybe a bit, but not really. Yeah. Joker and Bane are probably the biggest examples of what Batman created. But for Superman, he essentially creates all his villains. Because they're all aliens for the most part. Yeah, and then Lex yeah. Luthor, he's not a bad he's not a bad guy per se, but he only became a villain because you're he saw a bad him. guy, but you're not a bad guy. <laughs> Cause Lex was chilling until Superman existed. Exactly. He was always yeah. there. He just didn't do anything. I don't know. I'd be chilling with Superman. I'm like, he's saving the world. I'm I happy. wouldn't at some would, point. Like, if Superman, I think Superman does bring too many problems. If Superman was like in my city, like let's say New York, then that's when I would move out. Cause that's too yeah, much. Yeah, I would too. Cause I feel like yeah. I'm more because Superman's villains are super powered, whereas like Batman's villains, for there's the most dudes. part, they're guys. Yeah. They're just men. I can like yeah, kind of women. avoid them. I'm not avoiding Zod. Zod can hear me from halfway across the planet if he really wants to find me. Mm. I'm not hiding from him, but I can hide from like Firefly. So if you had to pick like Metropolis versus Central City, which one would you rather live in? Central, Central City. Central City. That's Central what I was thinking fine. too. Yeah. Which one's yeah. Central City? The, the Flash. Flash. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, I feel way more but, safe but with was, the Flash. If it was Central City, City, wouldn't you have a possibility of getting Star superpowers? Star City's the arrow. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But like, if if you're in the Central City, wouldn't you have a possibility of like getting superpowers? Because uh, yeah. I thought you were telling me like well, that's the there's show, like a particle yeah. collider like every five. Like every every version of like not every version of the Flash, but it's like it, it's a very common occurrence. Every other season, like the blue. A particle collider. Yeah, uh, it's pr pretty common for you to get powers if you live in Central City. <laughs> so like, there's a possibility to get powers. Yeah, that'd be dope. And I would go straight to the Flash. All right, homie. True. Let's get it. Let's get it. Like let's I trust it. the Flash probably more than I trust any other hero. I trust him in my life. In like fiction. I'm chilling. We're I'm good. Like, you can go back in time. You're the probably the most safe guy I can hang with. Except for, I don't want to get too close because then Reverse Flash might come for me. <laughs> so I'm going to keep a little distance. But what if you also became a speedster? I still, Reverse Flash is still that guy. He's that guy? <laughs> He's that guy. He's that guy? What if I you became Wally West? <laughs> I, Reverse Flash is still that guy. Really? Even He's like Wally West? Like Comp Wally? Because Comp Wally, yes, he's stronger and faster than Thawne, but I don't want to deal with Thawne messing up my life. <laughs> Thawne is literally the reason for Barry's every bad day he ever did. <laughs> it was me, Barry. <laughs> he broke Barry's arm when he was like 11 for no reason. <laughs> Just because he was bored, he was like, I'm going to put you down the stairs and make you break your arm. Jeez. Thawne, like, Thawne is the most obsessed with this hero than like any other villain in is fiction. Yellow, isn't he the yellow, fi the yellow He's flash? He's the yellow yeah. flash. Yeah. I saw one that was like one of those things on TikTok, like, scenario who's, who's this is who's the most obsessed and it was uh it was like joker black adam Thawne and black adam and someone else uh and i was like uh, reverse flash it is easy it was me flash. barry it was me he remember literally goes the, back in time just to mess with barry <laughs> remember the time you're at the movie theater and a girl touched your leg and you came in your pants it was me barry i've, still, I been, you I've, off been, I've still been wondering to this day if that was like a meme or actually it was, it is a, meme. It was okay. a meme but yeah. it's based on the comic where he says he's the reason for every bad day barry's had which is canon. <laughs> Every bad thing that's ever happened to Barry in his life is because of Thawne. You failed that Damn, test? Dude. I changed the answers, Barry. That's what he said. <laughs> no, he didn't actually say that, but, but like I imagine he would. <laughs> you chose ABC? It's actually CBA, Barry. Actually, He's like, you turned in that test? I changed your answers, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. <laughs> oh my god. Dude's actually obsessed with Barry. Yeah, Remember when you couldn't find your left shoe? It was me, Barry. I did it. <laughs> it's also the the reason he's obsessed with him is so funny. It's just because Barry made him look like a loser in the future. So he's like, nah, I'm never accepting this again. Oh, so isn't the same thing with uh, Mysterio? Mysterio? No. Didn't Iron Man like... Basically, um, like, yeah. He's like, he's like, that yeah. trash. I thought you were saying... Vomit. Like, and then he's like, I'm fine. <laughs> fine. 
<laughs> it's basically true. like that. Uh, I thought you were saying like Spider Man with Mysterio. I was like, what? No, no, it's like Mysterio where like Iron with Man, Iron like, he Man gave yeah, a pitch yeah. and Iron Man's like, uh, Tony Stark's like, ah, barf. trash, right? Barf. Yeah. He's like, all right, fine. <laughs> bet IP address. <laughs> Poor kid. I'm Has pooled. nothing to do with it. IP address. <laughs> That's so uh, funny to me. No, that that's that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I would never want to deal with Thawne. But other than that, I would I think Central City's fine. Do I do oh, oh worst I gotta aside from Thawne, the worst I gotta deal with is the gorilla. Grod, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't he live on like his own? Grod would suck though. Yeah, he but he comes to Central City. How? Um, he's the gorilla. He's he smart. has technology where he can teleport. He's okay. hyper intelligent, Eduardo. He's I, hyper intelligent. I, I, he is hyper intelligent. I, I, I didn't watch that much of Flash after like okay you the TV show. No, I'm saying I, I, I would assume it. the TV show didn't do God justice, but it still yeah. made him like yeah, he's still extremely hyper intelligent. The TV show doesn't do anyone justice. Like with no chemical knowledge, starts creating like doing chemical reactions in a room, and it's like okay, good, this will slow down the Flash, and it worked, and it's like yeah, he just figured it out. Like yeah, this makes sense. Exactly. Add one more carbon atom, we're good. Mainly because like he also brings his gorilla army, so I don't really want to like yeah, deal gorillas, with gorillas yeah. coming to my town. And be like, let's go. We got ooga booga. What if, what if your superpower from the particle collider was that you can control gorillas, dude? That's an oddly specific. <laughs> I think ability. I think Rod would trump me. His but like, his brain is like supremely higher have, like, than mine. Complete control. I still think he find a way to overcome. Gorillas can he never just control touch you. my man. Gorillas mind. can never hurt you or do anything that against your will. <laughs> All right, why is this so specific? What, what kind of specific ability? Fine, fine, fine. The fine, anti grind Fine, if a gorilla, <laughs> if a gorilla has hyper intelligence abilities, he can no, do no damage to you or your <laughs> things that you touch. There you go. There. I just go with the flash. I'm like, don't worry about Grod. I got him. <laughs> hey, hey, you get Thawn. I got Grod. Just they call me the anti Grod. <laughs> you see Grod? Come get me and put me in front of him. He's done. <laughs> he's he's done. I'll send him back in. <laughs> I'm gonna lay him flat down. <laughs> and it's like it's like Grod's about to punch the flash, and it's like the teacher where it's like I need you to log off. You touch the shoulder. Yeah. I need you to head home. He's like, okay, yeah. <laughs> Did you said so? <laughs> yeah, such a stupid ability. How would you even know you have this ability? I guess I find out when Grodd invades the city one <laughs> be like, day. Oh my god! I'm like, no, Grodd, don't like, mess like, me. He's you're, like, you're gonna yes, fall. Master. You're gonna you're fall. Right. Grodd's gonna punch you. Not. He's like, stop. He's like, okay, okay. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> you're like, go home. I said less. All right, guys, wrap it up. I suppose. <laughs> as soon as I do that, I'm like, yo, flash, flash, flash. flash. You give me, give me. I like, got powers. It's like, hey, Barry, Barry, Barry. Don't, yes, don't right. I know you're Barry. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. I'm not a villain. No. I got him. I'm that guy. Rod's never messing with Central City again. He's probably going to Gotham, to be honest. He's not coming back. <laughs> you got other places to go. It's like, you know what? City? You want a really intelligent thinker? Batman and True. Gotham. He's super smart. He's better go than the Flash. Him. He beats the Flash. Really? I mean, yeah. he shouldn't, but he does. <laughs> He's Batman. Yeah. He's, Batman. He's the world's greatest detective. Oh, yeah. The, didn't Batman, like, outthink, like, some... Being, yeah, yeah, like it being with like oh, infinite brainiac? knowledge, brainiac, yeah, 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 yeah. Like basically near infinite knowledge, and he like out stunk him, yeah, <laughs> out dunk, out dunk him. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one that I always hear. I think oh, Gabe dunk. say the most that Batman should have won that. He shouldn't do that. <laughs> There's also the one with like the the animated movie that I saw with like the owl, is the owl man, and they're doing like owl he's boy. destroying yeah. Earth Prime, which yeah, destroys, man, yeah. he destroys all continuities of Earth or whatever, and then it was like. He's seen all realities and all existences, and then he found like he wins, and then Batman's like, "But I'm Batman," and then he wins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? He's like, "I've seen everything. I know exactly how this every single possible conversation that we could ever have will ever end, ever, and I win." And Batman's like, "You forgot one thing, battering." And I was like, so "Okay, I'm stuck. <laughs> I never thought about that." <laughs> oh my god! He's like, "I'm stuck to the bomb." Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's like battering. And it's the one where it like pops open. It's like a string. He's like, like ties him up. He's like, what you he's like, I'm Batman. And it's like, oh no. God. Well, Batman is so funny though. And it, these moments it's like, where why? Because he's Batman. so funny to me. I remember seeing those memes like uh, I saw a meme like in middle school where it's like the Riddler, Devin's favorite villain, goes like. Starts the, the riddle and Batman just ends with like China 1896 and it just goes, How did you know? I'm Batman. It was such a stupid thing because I didn't register what it was. I was like, Oh, this is just 
It's weird. But yeah, Batman is just he but to wins because he's Batman. I was on iFunny when I saw this. So it was hey, an back in the, the back in the Forbidden app. You're an iFunny guy. I was an iFunny user. You're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm so glad Batman has like games to show how good his villains and how good he is. Because a lot of other heroes don't get that. A lot of other people just would never know how good some of these heroes' stories can be. Mm -hmm. Because they just don't get good games or movies. Oh, I see. I saw that DC's Lego villains was free on the playstation like last month jose's favorite game <laughs> true like flash man flash doesn't get like a good game or good show so how would you really even... get to see how good we had a good couple seasons but yeah they, just, one they milked them they milked them yeah how would you even make a flash game it wouldn't be hard i don't think you can you can't like that's it's not that okay okay hard. Once, once we get the nerve gear we're good you can make a flash man, game. i think our I brain guess, like a better way a better fast as flash could like telltale Telltale for Flash? Yeah. No. Oh yeah, that would that work. Would be, that, no, no, that's that a better. Work, that's like the only I mean, way you could it make a, fla a Flash heavy story. Game. There wouldn't be probably much combat, but you can't. No, really I think do you can combat. do one like the Sonic games, because Sonic is also fast. You can do the same thing effectively, but I, I guess not really. For Flash, no, yeah. it wouldn't work. Sonic's I guess wouldn't do it justice. Yeah. I, don't know, I just think, don't think you can do a Flash game. Mm -hmm. But like the point I was trying to make is like some heroes don't get their story shown. And it's enough. unfortunate that the only like until media. recently, Daredevil. I was always like a big Daredevil fan, and then before the show came out, no one ever got to know how good Daredevil's story. Because is. Uh, I, saw, I saw the memes like the Daredevil game is just a black screen. You gotta figure it out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like notification. I get punch. I, I don't know. <laughs> Reaction. <laughs> you gotta, I don't you gotta know. Figure it out. Nerve Gear Daredevil game. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> You're just like. I mean, but then you'd have full senses, yeah. so that would be cool, because you would yeah. see it, could, it as That's Daredevil. why I'd be like... <laughs> you'd be like, I'm a good lawyer. It'd be like, uh, <laughs> you know how in the show he says he sees a world of fire? I think that's what it was. Do you remember the I quote? I mean, that's a metaphor, but yeah. It'd be cool like that, just like outline. Actually, that's what he the sees. Best, no, no, the no, best no, way actually, they show you how he sees is from the Daredevil movie. The Daredevil movie, they with Ben Affleck, they kind of show you the way he sees, quote unquote. Isn't it just like the? It's like blue yeah. and like outlines of things because he's hearing like it's like sonar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So effectively, that is how he would. That, see. I was well, just if you want to go technical with colors, he would see blue and red because of Doppler effect, Ooh. because of the shifting. So like he, he doesn't see color at all, but. But I'm saying like, if you want to go, like, you said blue. And, what do you mean? That's the color they show. Okay, yeah. Because it would make sense because, like, you have, like, blue shifts and red shift pepper. and stuff like that. So things moving away are red, or things moving away are blue and things moving towards you are red. Oh, that reminds me of this funny comic I was seeing the other day of, uh, so Spider-Man, Spider-Man doesn't know Daredevil was blind for a while, but one of Spider-Man's villains, Electro, found out he was blind, and Electro was like, Spider-Man, you're a genius, right? And Spider-Man was like, I guess. He's like, and you haven't figured out that your boy right there is blind? So I was like, he's not blind. He looks at Daredevil, he's like, can you believe this guy? <laughs> then I was like, yeah, right? Yeah, I don't know crazy. where you got that idea from. <laughs> he's he's mentally unstable. <laughs> and then Electro's like, oh yeah, you're not blind? Why are you wearing the red tint gla glasses? He's like, it's and Spider-Man's like, it's because he's the devil. It makes his costume. <laughs> <laughs> And Electro's like, okay, what color is my suit? I saw, okay, no, I did see that yeah. one. And then Daryl was like, Spider-Man's like, you don't even have to answer that. He's like, you're right. I don't have to answer that. <laughs> I saw that. Don't, don't, don't do what the villain wants you to do. But basically he found out because Daredevil couldn't answer the question. Spider-Man was like, you're actually blind? He's like, ah. That's crazy. It is what it is. It's never needed to be brought up till now. It was never important. <laughs> <laughs> you Actually, pretty important. I've seen Jeff building the building. I just remembered. I've seen like some. There's this uh, game. It's a. I don't know if it's a new game or not. But the concept is that you make a sound into your mic. You just get like an outline of everything. I know what I'm about. It's yeah. like a, a little horror game, and I was like, that's really cool. Yeah, because everything's like black and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like really dark. Uh, I don't know, I've seen someone play it mm -hmm. like on. Like all you gotta do is go like ah, and it's like, and then, and then, and then, like sonar back. That's pretty cool. It is. I I don't know what the name of the game is, but I've been wanting to look into it. Yeah, I'm ready to get back in the game. Like, not back into. I'm ready to get into games now that I yeah. actually have processing power. Now that power. you have the ability to. So I went from <clears throat> my PC. Actually, sorry, go ahead, continue. Oh, uh, so I went from my PC and I was like watching the uh, national championship the other night, and <laughs> Georgia beat Alabama. Georgia smoking Alabama. Alabama, you trash. Alabama yeah, trash. Uh, <laughs> Georgia at that. Georgia's where it's at. At Devin. At, at, at the at Maestro. Devin. At the Maestro. Your, your 27. college is trash. Imagine, imagine losing to Georgia. Couldn't be me. Couldn't well, be me. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, 
Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I brought my laptop out and I was playing Pokemon because I was like the trading card game because I was grinding out like these little battles so I can get packs. Mm -hmm. And I was like grinding them out and my computer was getting fucking high and I had it on the low, lowest res possible. And it was like windowed. So it was like this big. And then it was like, Shh, and I was like, all right, blanket. <laughs> and I put the blanket on my lap. So I put the blanket on my top. I was like, I don't even feel it anymore. I just kept playing. And my computer was like, so I ended up like, all right, I'm gonna put it sideways so that like it can breathe. <laughs> With that whole breathing. And I was like, I used to think this was normal, <laughs> like, because you were telling me because I used to play Mine like Minecraft on it, like it would crash four or five times before it actually opened, <laughs> and then it took about five minutes to open, and I was like, all right, time to play Minecraft. Now we wait. <laughs> And then I was in Discord one day again. I was like, oh, it crashed again. And he goes, your Minecraft crashed? And I was like, yeah. Yours doesn't? He's like, no. <laughs> Just, I click the button and it opens. And, and, then I, and then I go back to my computer. It's like dead silent. I'm running like four games, stream labs. I got 30 tabs open. I'm just like dead silent. I said, this is. That's the dream. This is power. This is peak. And I only have 16 gigs RAM. I'm like, if I go 32. I'm unstoppable. I'm, I, I'm the guy. <laughs> right? I can start Bitcoin mining. Ah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that either. You need a, like a strong. Let a man dream, all right? Okay. Uh, I was thinking about it because I always forget that you have a computer now that we can actually like squad up for games. We can. And, I like, still suck at games though. It's, it's fine. Whatever. It's beside the point. Yeah, so did like Devin when we played Fortnite. But Devin's better than me. No hero or there. Nah, not in Fortnite. If it's not a strategy fun. game, basically, if it's an, a first-person shooter or any type of shooter, I'm not the guy. Sounds fun. Though. That sounds like Devin. Sounds. It still sounds like it'd be fun. Like, I'm not the guy. Like there's this game that I was showing uh, <clears throat> Gabe. It was, I think I showed you. It was called Ready or Not. I think oh, I, you I showed explained me that one, it to yeah. you though. It was. It's a. It's a. Okay, did I not? I don't know. Uh, it's called. <laughs> it's like a. Doesn't spec ops i think it's like the group uh the group it's like a spec ops game where you have to like infiltrate a building to rescue a hostage from a uh, terrorist it's kind of like yeah more, i know a more, a more know based siege uh, it's more based siege yeah based in reality <laughs> Based nope. I actually been whining. I've been wanting to ask that. What does based mean? Uh, yeah. I can't, I've thought it's, it's like okay. Good. So you have base and you have cringe, Op opposite ends of the spectrum. What are you? What are we doing here? What is that? <laughs> wait, wait. Getting a strap on? You know what I'm talking about? I'm putting on a seatbelt. No, you're talking about the weight. Go room. to the gym. Books are for pussies. Yeah. That's, That's what. See, when I say that reference last time, you're like, I've never seen that video before. But now he says the reference. You're like, I've seen the video. Okay, it's the same as the birds. I did the. <laughs> yeah. No, I the said the video. Like I just said, no, didn't have, go to the gym. Didn't have this like whole performance that Tyler did. Yeah, and then that, that's that's the quote was the same. That's oh. based, and then like like the 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 dog with the the daredevil, the daredevil mask. It's like, it's like, hey, okay. like that's cringe. Hey. Also, you would understand the dog meme if you watched the Daredevil movie. Is that part the, of the? That's the, the song. That's the song they use in the movie. I mean, that is like a two thousand, early two thousands movie, right? Yeah. I forgot how bad that movie Dude, was. Don't grab my shoes. Man, that was a good actor, but <laughs> yeah, it wasn't good. The only thing I liked about it was Bullseye. I guess mm. he was cool. But then again, they made Bullseye better in the show. So like, why? I don't know. He's just better in the show. Just he actually has, like, backstory. You can't, like, put much, much backstory into a movie. You yeah, that's like always been the issue. It's, it's, that's the problem with that media, is that unless you do, like, a sequence of movies, yeah. you're not going to get much backstory. Even with a sequence, sometimes you don't get much backstory. I would be really hyped if they wanted to make a Spider-Man show, because I think that would work. I think Spider-Man is the type of character where a show really the works. The Amazing Spider-Man show that used to air on Cartoon Network. Not Cartoon Network. Well, that's uh, like Disney. cartoon, but like, I want to see a live action Spider-Man Oh, live Spider action Spider-Man show. show? Yeah. With Andrew Garfield? No, I'd want a movie with Andrew Garfield. Give me uh, Tom Holland and show. Gracie showed me this thing, and it was like... Y'all chill. So what was this? It was like a Twitter thing, and she's like, what do you think about this? And it was uh, Amazing Spider-Man 3, and Gwen Stacy comes back, but she's Spider-Gwen. It's still Emma Stone and everything. How would you feel about that? I'd be fine with it. Cause that's what I said. I said I'd be fine with it. Because I imagine the multiverse is really messed up right now anyways. Yeah. It, it wouldn't be unexpected. The main theory or, or, is that Spider-Man or Andrew Garfield would be put into Tom Hardy's Venomverse, which would already kind of shake things up anyways. Yeah.
But I also saw one where because they cured them, Electro would go back and save Gwen. And I was like, yeah, that was dumb. I, 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 I didn't I, think that was serious. I thought he was like being satire. I took that as like a, oh, that's cute type yeah. thing. But I didn't like. I don't like it. I don't like it because. Well, that wouldn't make her Spider Gwen. No. The reason Spider Gwen. Well, no, no, this is this was a separate one. This is one I saw on my oh, own. Okay, Gracie okay. showed me one this morning where it was like Spider Gwen, and I was like, you know, I wouldn't be mad. I'd be fine with Spider Gwen. It. Well, not just because she's a baddie, but like, like in general, I think it'd be cool. Yeah, that would it'd be, be interesting. interesting for his like the dynamics. Just, like, yeah. oh my God, you're you're Gwen. She's like, who are you? Because Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield already had amazing chemistry in their movies. Yeah. Like, best couple in, like, <clears throat> superhero. Yeah, they did fall into the curse of the Spider-Man, though. Oh, they yeah, have yeah, falling in love with each other. Which, Eduardo, for some reason, didn't believe me when I said all the Spider-Man dated their... No, because the director, one of the or one yeah, of the producers for... Uh, Amy. The, what? Amy. Yeah, 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 she, yeah. Told Tom she told Tom Holland. She told Tom Holland and Zendaya, like, don't go out and like, I for show. Sure. And then they did. They do it anyway. They do it anyways. Because with the thing I didn't believe, I didn't, I didn't think a Tobey Maguire and Kirsten Dunst were dating. I they thought did. it was. I thought it was only Andrew and Tom Holland. Mm -hmm. That's because he's a whore. It's the it's the Spider Man thing. They, if if you're a Spider Man with your love interest, you just fall in love. That's why everyone on Twitter was like, "Bro, I'm trying to be the next Spider Man, low key, and go ahead and get me like." And it's like ex actress. Name. Oh yeah, I see the other ones was like my casting for the next Spider Man movie, and it's like <laughs> it's like uh, Gwen Stacy, and it's like some girl of TikTok, and it's like Spider Man. <laughs> no. uh, I mean, if that's work, if it's true, I no, I'd, I'd be, too. I'd be down with the spot because I think the I cartoons... want a little bit of Spanish. I'll be Miles. Hola, oh bro. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what you People think? already say I look for hey, 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 Donde es? Who says that? Uh, they all say that, Eduardo. Especially when I be whipping out the Spanish, they're convinced. <laughs> they be walking up to me. I'm like, stop. In the, oh. What? <laughs> That's why I'm saying English. They're like, oh, he's English, man. I go, donde? <laughs> and they're like, oh, let's just where? Yeah. Donde está? Donde. Biblioteca. Not even like the rest, just donde. Like, yeah, just ah. donde. Because he's cause clearly he's going to walk up to me and be like, say something. So I'm just like, where? Like, I'm the hero. So I'm like, where do I go? You know, you get it? <laughs> Like, I'm the hero. Donde. He tells me where to go, and I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> like, donde? Oh. I'm like, <laughs> I remember seeing MadPat's video on, like, why it wouldn't be cool to be Spider-Man. Not cool. Like, fist. Mm. Impossible if you're a normal yeah. human without spider strength. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to to way to ruin every superhero ever. Yes, we get it. All superheroes hey, are hey, unrealistic. Hey, Superman couldn't be <laughs> Superman without his super strength speed, his free frost breath, his lasers, his flying ability. His yeah, we get strength. it. Extra like, usually give you cancer. I yeah, we it. get it. <laughs> like, so don't cool. don't need to ruin all superheroes because it all guys wouldn't kid. work. What? Lois, Lois, and like all of Clark's co uh, female coworkers get breast cancer. Yeah, because <laughs> he's like staring at the moves. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, pretty much no superhero works in real life. So Except, whatever. Oh, take away Daredevil's ability to like sense things. Yeah, blind, blind guys man. exist. Yeah, yeah blind, blind guys. Man Make exist. him a normal blind guy. Hawkeye could exist, I guess. If you're just a really good archer. But like, really, really good, good archer. Also, military training with hand-to-hand -hand combat. You also somehow be able to make trick arrows. Yeah, true. That yeah. are not physically possible, but mm -hmm. yeah. Facts. Mm -hmm. We got But yeah, none of, none of them are realistic, so. Green arrow. I don't really Pretty care. Realistic, green arrow's the same as Batman's Hawkeye. Yes, trick arrows. What can he do, really? If anything, green arrow's worse because his trick arrows are like, not even technology. At least Hawkeye's are technology. Barry Allen could be just any regular man. Yo, take away Barry Allen's speed. What does he really have? His brain. <laughs> I guess, but he wouldn't be the same. Like yeah. He fall off. He would fell off. off. He would just be some random CSI. No one would care about. <clears throat> no one would care about him. I actually, uh, I was watching a um, like a clip of the Flash, like the first season. It was the first episode, and it was where Barry was looking at the tire track, and he like in his mind drew out like the schematics yeah. of the tire. They only did that for that episode. They yeah. never did it again. Barry's like, hmm, dirt. I know where it's at. It's like, <laughs> like hmm, dirt, <laughs> carbon six. Yeah. Like, that would be cool in my mind. Yeah. Because, like, that was so cool. It was like, okay, 10.3 inches, and then this is this tread length. And I thought that was really cool. Because they were trying to show he's not just some random guy. He is. But smart. then they only did it once, and they're like, okay, yeah. never again. 
That's why I like it. Yeah, that's. Dexter. I think that's the main issue with why Flash, like over time, was getting worse too, is because he had such a big team. When mm. that's never, that's never what Flash was about. It was kind of just him, because Flash is kind of like Spider-Man, where he's a solo act. He doesn't have people behind him in a chair talking to him. Because he was the the guy in the chair. Yeah, he was his own man in the chair. I mean, effectively, he I could saw be. one thing where he lived like two lives at the same time or something like that. He did something like he did two Twice. things for multiple months at the same exact time. Probably. By just running back and forth. Yeah, I believe it. I don't know why he would do that when he could just make a clone of himself. He can make but a yeah, clone? Yeah, he could. Yeah? What? Did he, can he they make did a clone of like, pull him from By going else. back in time, yeah. He goes back in time a few seconds and there's a clone of him. Yeah. Called Time Remnant. Mm -hmm. But then... It ruins the dying. flow of time, but he can still do it if yeah, he wanted to. Because then they did it in the show when he fought Doom. Or not Doom. Zoom. Zoom. Yeah. And that's when it summoned like the Reaper. Like the, the Time Wreaths. Time Wreaths, yeah. yeah. And that was the first time it ever happened because oh, it was yeah. like he would create so many remnants fighting zoom that it ended up summoning it yeah because i was like yo that's weird <laughs> you're so like stop messing out. with time <laughs> like hey stop it <laughs> that's preposterous he said ha, you're done <laughs> you're done <laughs> yeah the time gods are tired of barry they're like bro can you just stop we get it you were gifted this power but like stop messing with it Dude, and right. the barry's like what about thon we can't do anything about him <laughs> he's just an he's anomaly because he made himself a paradox in time so he literally cannot be erased How do you make so himself? they can't do anything with him because he went to like every point in time and then like mess with things that made him a, a paradox so that way no matter what he'll always exist Makes sense. yeah so like you could kill his mom that's not his mom he's yeah. someone else but he still exists as himself. kill kid version of him he'll just still exist because that's not it's that's that's not. a different timeline version because this thon could be from a different timeline that's crazy so yeah. he'll that's what you're talking about he's like an anomaly. Paradoxes. he'll always exist yeah amazing. there's nothing you can do to get rid of him <laughs> what about thon yeah you throw him in prison <laughs> he'll you throw him in prison that stops him effectively because there's never really been two thons in the same timeline at once but he'll break out it's it's comic books they never stay in prison mm -hmm. yeah even in the show he played off a good guy and then got yeah. nora to take him out or to open the cell and he's like ah, loser i'm gonna go kill barry yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's like oh no oh, who no. saw this coming and barry's like you did what <laughs> like the scene, the scene from guardian of the galaxies <laughs> what it's just like <laughs> what <laughs> so, nora's like now nah, i know what it looks like <laughs> what it he's looks like, like <laughs> That was so dumb. I'm like, how how are you a super fan of the Flash and don't understand that <laughs> Reverse Flash is like his biz biggest villain? He's like, oh, Nora, I'm a changed man. I'm a good guy now. She's like, I believe you. He's like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> you truly <laughs> fell for him. <laughs> Even if he is a changed man, the you still gotta serve your time. <laughs> What? He still has to serve his time. It doesn't matter if you change. Still serve your time. <laughs> She's like, you're right. You did change. Because it was like something dumb. Like she needed his help, even though Barry was figuring out whatever he had. To, he had to fight. It was someone. Cicada. It was Cicada. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. And he needed the the reverse or like he said it would be easy if I had him here, but I can figure it out myself. And Nora's like. Okay, yeah, let's go get him. And then, takes. and then she's like, "I need your help. How do you? Be how did Barry beat him?" He's like, mm, "You let me out of the cell. I'll tell you." <laughs> she's like, oh, "She's like, I Barry. say less. I'll open the cell then." It's like, oh, I'm gonna go kill Barry right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me go. <laughs> He's like, I haven't been to Barry when he was 11 years, 12 or 11 years, four months, three days, and seven hours old. Let's go break his toe. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Actually, back to the He's like, Nora, let's go on the road trip real quick and watch this. You see that, Barry? I'm about to push him. <laughs> Loser. Look at this kid. <laughs> ah, ah, that's funny, right, Nora? That's your dad. <laughs> what I was gonna what I was gonna say was how you originally liked about C, uh, the CSI Barry. This is what I enjoy about Dexter, the early seasons of Dexter. Yeah. That was it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we had this whole like 10 minute conversation about it and i was like i like dexter <laughs> i all want to let you guys know i've seen dexter i, I, I want the hose to come out and, 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 and now we wait for the <laughs> now we wait for hose <laughs> i watch good shows you know that like that one i thing? like i like the kardashians and gray's anatomy <laughs> i and en i enjoy sitting down to watch your stupid shows that i will say is not best dumb. movie all time no diff 
the notebook. The notebook. Mm -hmm. Now we wait, lads. You know the video where it's like the guy's like, I don't understand why we're always so rude to women, and then he like goes on about how women are great, and he ends up he's like, yeah, this is gonna get all the. Yeah, hoes. I have seen that. I have seen that. <laughs> oh, this is gonna get all those. Yeah, that, that was that like, part of men are trash. You know, I, I hate. Lo I men. love it when women say men are like men are trashed, <laughs> and especially men who are raised by single women. Trash. It's like. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I remember mm -hmm. I saw this video. I, th it was, uh, I think it's Not a BuzzFeed video. It's where they... What? <laughs> it's Keep talking. It's, I didn't it's, stop uh, it's, I think it's BuzzFeed, but it, the premise oh, is that they'll have like uh, certain chairs on this side. And oh, Jubilee. Chairs. Jubilee. That's the ones who made it. And there's this guy who's straight uh, women Mighty? hater. What? Oh. Oh, women. Oh, it was like the, it was the, the, uh, Sigma? No, not Sigma. It's incel. a Sigma male. It was, it was the incel. Sigma male. Yeah. It is an incel. incel. Yeah. But like, he's like, he, he sat like this and he's like, see, my problem is with women. See, my problem with <laughs> had, women like, is. He has like, long hair, but he hasn't showered in like two weeks. So it's like really stringy <laughs> and greasy. Uh. And he's like, it's not that I hate women. It's just women are annoying. <laughs> women are <laughs> Where'd they find this guy? <laughs> no clue. No, they put out an ad. Do you hate women? Join. <laughs> and the funny thing is, he hates women, and he was raised by a single mother. I'm like, dog. Another fatherless child. <laughs> now you have another fatherless. It's another, fatherless baby. Fatherless baby. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see if I can pull it out. It's gonna take a shame. A what is he talking? What is he just making a commentary about women? Yeah. No. Just, so so it's uh it's like um. Is it him against women? No, it's, well, it's uh, like Jubilee. Uh, Lee men versus it's, like, it's, like, it's middle ground that's what it's called it's feminist versus like uh male activists yeah male men, men's rights activists men's right activists and like um, he was the only one who like had no points is it this guy in the yellow yeah yes. that's him yes that's the incel <laughs> the, the title of the video is i'm an incel ask me anything <laughs> bro <laughs> because because they were talking and he's like i guess i'm an incel <laughs> I guess you can say. How do you know I haven't? I had think he sex? might have. I think, Look at you. I think he actually even said we live in a society. No. Like, no, we live in a society. no. no he's, like, he's like, we live in a society where women. It's, it's like, like, dude, oh. what are you? On this, a, and like the Asian guy, the Asian guy was making good points. Yeah. He was like, okay, this is what I feel about this. This is what I feel about this. Even the, the, even the feminists were like, yeah, I never thought about it that way. And then the guy's like, let me add on to that. Like by uh, saying the it's other like, two, the, the Asian, and the, the, the Asian. And the guy with the accent, like yeah. they had points. They this were guy actually did not. points. The guy was just like, I'm an incel, okay? So what? <laughs> He's like, I just. Women are trash. I hate women. I just hate women, but I love them. But I hate them. And I just, they like, just need to be uh, my playthings. <laughs> What if I like, be my dirty little cum slut? <laughs> <slide. laughs> my dirty little cum slut. <laughs> It's just because we I, live in I just society. need one to fall under my basement, and then we'll be good. He's so weird. He, he gives me such a no, no, weird but vibe. But after this episode, go watch that. It's like the cringiest <laughs> thing ever. It's really cringy. It's I, so cringy. Like anytime he spoke, I was just like, Ugh. it's like, why are you talking? He's like, the other two guys are making good points. Leave it at that. But no, you gotta he, he was like, you know, you men something? deserve to be huh? paid more. Right here. I always think it's cringy whenever there's the guys who like. It's like you can you can hate women, I guess, but at least be quiet women. about it or have good points. I guess. <laughs> they did it. I know, but like I always see videos. It's, it's always so like funny. it's always like I hate women, and it's always such a bad point. It's such a petty. Reason I hate yeah, women. petty. Because a woman looks at me weird, so like all what? trash. I always see them. I was like, I hate gr women because they like one did me dirty years ago. One led me on. It's like yeah. so do a lot of women. Get, yeah. get used to it. Get, or like get guys do the same thing too. Yeah. Or it's like um pickup artists when they're like they're trying to pick up a girl and they're like not interested oh you're gay oh so you're so you're you're ugly and fat and oh yeah. it's like it's like guys why do are you it switching too. up like, you don't gotta oh i ain't never seen a pickup artist <laughs> well, oh yeah okay i guess huh? i saw this one video where the guy's like picking up girls let me see it's no it's i think yellow. it's just a raincoat no, 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 but look. let me see i don't think it looks like spider-man Oh, like Venom. Yeah, it does look like Venom. Why Where is it yellow, though? That's weird. Yeah, it is. It's a Venom jacket. Oh, in yellow? Yeah. That's it's weird. not Spider-Man, but it's Venom. What were you saying? I mean, I guess it technically could you know, be Spider-Man. Black suit. But... So funny. Incels are so funny to me. Because you relate? Yeah, no. You know they sit like that? Like, they got something going on. Are they all incels? No. no, it was just him. Like, Jesus. Oh. No, he, like, he, he clears himself. Making good points. And he 
he's like, you, the so dude, awesome. like, podcast can't hear you. Po- we can't hear you. Get close to the mic. <laughs> yeah. So the white guy and the Asian guy were like making good points. They're solid. And then this weird guy is like, <sighs> so what the, if I'm an incel? Okay. Is, like, he he pulled up to the like the pulled up to the studio and was like. I guess you can call me an incel. Did he say, did he say that walking through the door? <laughs> no. Like his like, intro? Like, why is he a villain? Why does he have the villain in his <laughs> chest? The way he walked in was like... No one's gonna oh. see it, Tyler. It's, it's like not about them, Arnold. He's p- pulling up like the Joker from the Joker movie. Yeah, he's like... On his interview. <laughs> it's like, now listen here, where are you going? It says a lot about society. I think he did. I think, he, like, I swear, like, what Tyler said, I think he did bring up society. God. It's so funny. That's, that's like, the, like, the voice he had in my mind. It's like, I guess you can call me an incel. I don't so, have sex with the women. Sounds uncomfortable to watch, honestly. It was. <laughs> like, the, anytime he spoke, it was just, like, a little uncomfortable. I don't really so like watching cringe because mm-hmm. I get secondhand cringe from videos. Yeah, I can't watch those. Whenever it's like someone getting embarrassed, I'm like, nope, it's off. <laughs> that was the reason why there was a show I couldn't finish because of that. I don't remember what show it was. It might have been Big Mouth. <laughs> I think it was. His favorite show, Big Mouth. Big Mouth I is know. disgusting. Dude, I hate Big Mouth. It's not funny to me. <laughs> it's like it's like one of those shows where it's like. I, like I can see your target audience, and yeah. I just don't. It's like that guy. That guy. That's what it looks like. His target. The target audience of Big Mouth looks like the the incel. <laughs> I don't think that's I don't think fair. So. I think it's like younger generation, like high school so freshmen. Yes, that's what Big Mouth is targeted <laughs> for. It's targeted for high school freshmen. You're not a high school freshman, Eduardo. Bro, Gracie was like, let's watch Big Mouth, and I was like, no. <laughs> Has Gracie seen Big Mouth before? season or like a couple episodes i think it's it pretty funny okay yes it has a couple if you have five seasons of something there's gonna be a couple scenes that are all right some yeah. are gonna land at some point yeah you can't miss all the time I, I feel flash maybe but like early oh flash. they're jokes <laughs> the flash misses a lot just in general i don't think flash has ever had a good joke in the show <laughs> not necessarily joke but like those scenes are i'm talking about like scenes oh, in general like yeah. sometimes they'll like be good but they don't miss all the time though they had season yeah. one and two exactly but like big mouth like you got i didn't realize have five seasons but it makes sense because yeah. i watched it back in yeah, high school because eddie watched the recent season or like what when it came out yeah. right i watched i mean i liked season fan. one because it was like i was in high school yeah yeah i think we all seen season one at yeah. least it was like oh yeah yeah and like i like the scenarios where it's like certain things that happen like he get a boner in class i'm like true happens true. how are you gonna get out of the situation buddy we're gonna start flexing because <laughs> ain't going away and yeah. now survive <laughs> but uh no i was thinking i've seen about that video of the incel the incel dude he can uh, another thing about him that was really in like just annoying Inceling? is that he i was gonna say incelish <laughs> but uh, uh he'd always had to have, have the last word and Did that he? was really annoying dude, to me i didn't too. remember that he'd always jump in and like yeah no matter- <laughs> Yeah, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at <laughs> now, looky here. Imagine man. that guy got powers. <laughs> he yeah. becomes the Flash. Like, he becomes the Riddler. Bro, the Riddler is an incel. Uh, is he? <laughs> he might as Riddle. well be. He goes, he goes, no, no. This woman. Canonically, Riddler has not had sex <laughs> because his life story is he was too smart for everyone in his school, so no one understood him. That sounds like an incel dog. Yeah. This guy goes, I was... riddle me this, women. <laughs> <laughs> What's six inches above the average? <laughs> he like raises his voice. <laughs> and still women don't want for no reason. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Dude, I don't know, it's so funny. Riddler, Riddler's the funniest incel. <laughs> <laughs> because he always makes excuses, like it's because I'm so intellectually superior than everyone, man it's not because i'm ugly and not because flash thompson stole all the girls <laughs> it's goes, not that never goes what'll be this like you know i got catwoman oh actually world's greatest detective <laughs> tyler <laughs> you know that nft guy you know the guy yeah have you seen that he oh yeah to a comment going like how about you get some bitches he goes like why am i gonna need bitches when i have a multi-million enterprise yeah. and i make it I'm like dude that's riddler <laughs> why would i need women when, when I'm, I'm superior when i'm intellectually inter- superior than every mind on earth and all you can say is riddles. <laughs> Riddle me this. <laughs> and then Batman solves all your riddles. How are you? How are you intellectually superior? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you're so superior that you became a side quest in his games. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cool beans, man. Good for Riddle you. Me this, Brittany. What is 5.5 above national average <laughs> and gets no play because they're too intelligent? Me. <laughs> now, do you want to change that, Brittany? I have a feeling you do, but you're scared. <laughs> you're scared it's of okay, my It's okay, Brittany. This is a safe place, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> and she's there in a soft There is no trap. need to be scared. I was like, I know you said you didn't want to play. And she's like, <laughs> she actually says yes. Some reason, walks to his apartment. Looks like a dungeon. He's like, I know it's scary. <laughs> it's not for you, Brittany. It's for Batman. <laughs> just it's wait like, until we get closer, and it might be for you. Just mm -hmm. sit in that seat, Brittany. And she's like, what? it's like a hole. She's like, <laughs> he's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Can Don't worry. Theoretically, I'm not a kidnapper, but theoretically, if I was, that back door isn't gonna work anymore. So I wouldn't try and turn around and escape. Another thing, it Brittany, won't work. because I'm so hyper intelligent. If I wanted to kidnap you, it'd have already happened. Yeah. So I would just say go on with the plan if you want everything to go good for you. <laughs> but that's just hypothetically. Obviously, I'm not a kidnapper. <laughs> so ah, you're so funny, Brittany. <laughs> Bro, uh, you're so funny, Brittany. <laughs> Can we, can we stop? <laughs> what, making fun of Riddler? No, yeah, I'm, un I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zay the masochist is uncomfortable with this conversation. A <laughs> you don't like the you don't like the Riddler? That's why your toes are out. What? <laughs> You don't like the Riddler? <laughs> don't show him to He's him. okay. Devin loves him. <laughs> okay, I don't mean I do. So, 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 would you say he's not top five for you? He's not, no. So then you found the wow. second one? <laughs> no, I'm, that's not the reason. I'm just cringing. Yeah. At everything you guys have said. Yeah. It's cringing. And I'm uncomfortable. Because it's the bar. <laughs> what is two parts vodka and one part iced tea? <laughs> Like, walk on iced tea? You bested me today. <laughs> you bested me today. Okay. Bartender. Here's your tip. It's name. like two cents. He's like, it's just Riddler's so funny because of how, like, <laughs> he ignorant himself. he is to the fact that he's just a loser. I yeah. think it's funny, though. It's like, we all know the Riddler's voice. Like, he's like, yeah. the cringe guy. Because that's how he talks. So, you know, it's like, you know, cringe and based? He's not based. He's not based? He's straight cringe. Okay. He's actually the kid from high school who just had no play, sat in the corner Blamed reading women books. On it. <laughs> women just don't <laughs> find me attractive because I'm too smart. It's not that women don't find me attractive, they do. It's just they're so intimidated by my intelligence, they won't confront me. <laughs> and I don't know if I want to even breed with a woman of such a low caliber mind. I, I mean, would need someone on my mind, you know, hypothetically, if I make a clone of me. <laughs> but women. Bro. <laughs> Has anyone seen Loki? Loki, no. Uh, I haven't. Gracie's watching it right now. Mm, similar. It's one of those shows where I'm like, it's like it's on good. the edge of like, I'm not interested in it, but I'm willing to watch it if something cool happens. Like just uh, the right thing and be like, yeah, you should watch it. I'd watch it. I mean, watch Daredevil. Miss Minute, whatever her name is. Season three. Uh, Apparently you haven't. What's up? Minuteman? Miss Minute? Miss Minute? Miss Minute? <laughs> Who's it's because it's Tara Strong. Uh, so I'm, I'm a sucker for Tara stand. Strong. Yeah. Really, me this is Tara Strong. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just waiting for Tyler to stop laughing. I thought about like five things I could have said, and I was like, nah, I'm not gonna say. Oh, it. Oh, going back to the if if the Batman villains is in real life, Riddler would get cyber bullied by everyone. Oh my on the god, internet. so hard. He would go so hard. No like memes. the minute he logged on to Facebook, no memes. He's done. <laughs> he's done. Riddler would be the least respected villain in all of them. So he's gonna be like, riddle me this. And someone that's calling him like, riddle me this. You're and it's supposed to IP address. Yeah. <laughs> just talks him. And he's like, hmm. You really? He's like, him. Riddler, your weakness is Google. He's like. No, not true. <laughs> it's like, bro, I was saying better riddles in fifth grade. What are you on about? He's like, you're just not intelligent enough. You just can't comprehend. It's like, John hung himself, but there's no chair. <laughs> <laughs> so how did he do it? <laughs> that was a block of ice. <laughs> no. Uh, there was a stab victim, but no knife. There was, was an icicle. <laughs> I imagine Riddler as like a Discord admin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he goes, true. He goes, you know the this kitten. <laughs> <laughs> you know like uh, the Pansu, uh, Pansu? Pansus? Uh, they're on 
Riddler would be Sonny Chu. Uh, no, no, not no, Sonny Chu. No, no. Chris Chan. Chris Chan. Chris Chan. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you, know the, Chris you know the YouTube pan, uh, Panatsu? Panta Hat? Panta Hat, yeah. yeah. That's how I imagine like, when Batman was like, please keep memes out of this general. Oh, chat. yeah. <laughs> when Batman imagine, was a Discord yeah, bot. That's how I imagine like, Riddler is like, please yeah. keep memes out of general chat. Don't let me put another <laughs> riddle. I'll put down. It's like, it's like in order to get into the voice call, you have to answer his riddles. <laughs> if you get this you got riddle three riddles right, you're going to answer, and if you get any of them wrong, you're banned for like two weeks. Damn. <laughs> if you get this riddle right, 30 days of Discord Nitro. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds tempting, but these riddles are hard. I would I would be surprised if you even attempted them. What's right. brown and long and sticky? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> sick. The Detroit DMV. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Riddler's Devin's favorite villain of fiction. <laughs> He's so cringe. Okay, all jokes aside, he's not Devin's favorite, but like, yeah. I can't believe he even likes Riddler a little bit is the issue. Because <laughs> like, The fact that Riddler was even his top five is ridiculous Well, what's me. funny is that we've heard him in multiple occasions talk about like, yeah, I like the Riddler. He's a pretty cool guy. But then you get him like on any type of recording and he's like, I mean, he's all right. Yeah, and he'll like, instantly backpedal. Like, like, how can you hate a Batman villain? Like, really, Batman is really <laughs> missed, but like, he's not the best. He's not the worst. I mean, like, he's... It's all right, I guess. He's in the back. You get him on his lawn. He's like, <sighs> <sighs> the Riddler. Yes, riddle, <laughs> riddle me this. <laughs> Devin gets hard every time he hears a riddle from Edward. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, that's right. You share a name with him. His name is Edward. No, well, my name is not Edward. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's if not. I call you Edward, that's your name. No, it's my name is not Edward. I'm calling you Edward. Okay, but it's not my name. That's your name. No, it's not. Hey, Wardo, okay, they, they it, call him Ed. Is a cat a cat, or is it Gato, or is it both? Depends. Okay, yeah. exactly. Depends. But Eduardo is Hispa like Spanish for Edward. <laughs> no. Edward? Eduardo? Are no. you kidding me? No. Yes. No. Basically, you go by Ed, so does he. Does well, it's like, and like, Gabriel. Gabriel. I thought he just went by Riddler. Not Riddler. <laughs> Not Riddler. I mean, he has a name. <laughs> but Batman's Bruce Wayne. I thought he was Batman. Batman. <laughs> he doesn't respond if you say Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> You think if he was like, like, hey, yo, Edward, he'd be like, yes. <laughs> Bro. Actually, going back to the Gotham thing again, though, I think I would try and be Robin. <laughs> I think I have a best, uh, the best shot at being Robin than, like, getting powers. Because I think that's pretty true. Random. No, I just, like, I'm like, I know you're Bruce Wayne. Let's let's just keep it a bunch. How'd you, How you figure it out? You. I'm a good detective. Once you be targeted, hire by... me. Are you kidding me? No, Batman's not like a menace. He's like, you figured out my identity. No, Break no, your no, bones. no, not no. From Batman, but like his villains. Is yeah, it but like I'm like also being... Robin, so he'll train me. Uh, I was about yeah, to say, like, get martial arts. I'm not gonna just be some guy. <laughs> I'll be trained. Is that what happened with the one Robin? No, that all became... Robins are trained. No, 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 no. Like all Robins are trained. I know that they got trained, but that he like the Joker got to him. But all Robins are trained, and they're not me. I'm not gonna get the Jason Todd treatment. That's well, not gonna first be off, me. first off, I was if I was Robin, even though Batman doesn't like it, I'm keeping a strap on. Which one became Nightwing? Joker pulls up. <laughs> That's tough, man. You try to kidnap me? That's tough, man. I don't know what you want to know. Which one became Nightwing? Uh, no, he became them? Red Hood, didn't he? <laughs> didn't uh, well, except Jason Todd, they all became Nightwing. Jason Todd oh, became oh. Red Hood. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, and that's the one that Joker. Yeah, but then I just he asked, asked he asked which one became Nightwing. Oh yeah, they I all thought one became Red Hood and then one became Nightwing. in the there's like more than main in the main well, timeline more. where like all the Bat family exists. Dick Grayson is Nightwing, yeah. but Damien has also become Nightwing and so is Tim Drake. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. Because that's all this in one... the main continuity where because well, I know back when I used to play Injustice, there was like all the different versions of Nightwing, and there was like yeah. the blue Nightwing, and that one was uh, Dick. Dick, and yeah. then you had like the red Nightwing, and that one was Damien. Damien. Boy, and then you yeah. had like, uh... I mean, it was also red, but it was like a different suit, and that one was uh, Tim Drake, probably. Or no, no, it was blue, but like a different suit. And it was like Tim I Drake. found in the game it was only Damien and Dick. I didn't know they had other Nightwings in the game. They had like. Because he had Nightwings and all his costumes. He had like New 52 and he had a bunch of other ones. Because and... I know Robin's in Injustice 2. And that's Tim Drake's Robin. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I would be a Robin for sure. What time is it? 7.15. I'm starving. We can end it. You want to end yeah. it, Wardo? I ended last time. You mind if I plug? Yeah, go ahead. Go Alright, go ahead and uh, go follow my... <laughs> follow me on Twitch and... Have another Riddle me this, Eduardo. Riddle me this, Tyler. <laughs> 
Where can you find us? Where can you find who's Pink? 20 years old, El Salvadorian, and gets and no hoes? And single. <laughs> and <laughs> still a virgin. Currently as filming, single. No, but, but fault for as filming? Wait, what? Wait, what'd you say? You said as filming. Yeah. Currently as filming. Anyways, uh, follow me on Twitch and YouTube, uh, nubs underscore 952. Uh, I stream, well, I'm, I'm gonna start streaming more. Uh, I got some cool games coming up. I've been playing a lot of card games lately, but we also got the Arkham series coming in. We got Danganronpa. We got some other cool stuff that we can play. Uh, love to see you there, and yeah. And with that, you can follow us on Spotify and A. <laughs> you can follow us on Spotify up. and Anchor. <laughs> Reel in the Anchor on Anchor. Follow on Spotify. And if you hate our faces, you can follow us on. Wait. On YouTube. You can find <laughs> us on YouTube. Like, comment, share. Yeah. Yeah. What was that face you were making? That was just his face. <laughs> you don't I, know his face. I, was, I like glanced over at him.